What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Huts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a special guest in the building. Listen, this is a Billboard artist, a Grammy Award-winning producer, a songwriter, a sound owner, and definitely a world G. You know we have in the building today? We have Delhi Ranks in the building today. What's going on, Big Boss? Bang, de de bang, bang, de de bang, bang, de de bang, bang, bang. Delhi Ranks can come for it again. A whole heap of things are going, big things are going. We're alive and well. You know what? Being alive is the first thing. Anything else from there? So definitely, a lot of good things are happening right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for coming to the Entertainment Report podcast tonight. You are most welcome. All right. On this program here, what we like to do, we like to take it right from the beginning and then take it right up to now 2021. All right. Rastafari. All right. Good to go. All right. So my first question, generally, how we start is where did you grow up in Jamaica and what attracted you to music in the first place? Well, I grew up in a whole heap of place in Jamaica. Um, I grew up in Mountain View Avenue. You know, from 72 Mountain View to GX Road to 81 Mountain View to 23 Mountain View. I grew up in Southside. I grew up in um, Walter Park area. You know, and I grew up in, in the countryside of Manchester, a place called Coleville. Okay, so you're all over the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm from a poor family, you know, and, you know, we have to go where mommy go. You understand. And what was it that attracted you to music in the first place? While residing in Southside, you know, the music of a Wednesday night jam at a place called Jimpy, Jimpy Shop, you know, mm-hmm. where Redman Ipower used to play before the name changed to Jam Rock. Mm-hmm. It was the name Redman Ipower, and like, like, um, major words with a pass through for a, for a Wednesday, you know, um, Shabaranks, Little Twitch, you know, Chicken Chest, Ashman, the late great Ashman, you know, um, Franco Nero. Um, Louis Culture, Wayne Rankin, Reno, Weather, Carla, Apache. So, them that man they used to go and go lock the stage, you know. Mm-hmm. Sanchez commanded to come go on with a bag of things, you know. And me, me see it, I love it, I And And, and they, they had a, a DJ contest mm-hmm. one Wednesday night, and I entered with a song that was written by my bridging, Alsos Boomers, you know. And mm-hmm. But they go win the contest with a song the star. <laughs> and let me see, them telling me a nine. Mm-hmm. I go up on ten. Seventy-four and nine. I hear the three. Hear the, hear the three, hear the four. Eighty-three, eighty-four. And the area song this time was Red Man High Power. Red Man High Power, owned by you, James. Mm-hmm. Red Man. The same Red Man International label. I even did own that sound there. Okay, so then you were you liked the song or you actually started to DJ on the sound system? No, I never DJ on the sound system. Um, I, I, I like the song because every Wednesday night, them this our Wednesday night jam, mm-hmm. you know. So right at Barry Street and Middle Lane corner, between between Middle Lane and Gold Street mm-hmm. and Barry Street, you know, the, 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 you used to ram every Wednesday night, you know. And we just enter the DJ contest one of the Wednesday and win it, <laughs> and from this, so a murder. Mm-hmm. That's where everything, and at that time there, what was your name when you were DJing in the contest? Delhi, Delhi. I never have the ranks yet, Delhi. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then you started, you win the contest, so then what happened next after winning the contest? Yeah, they, they have a primary school still, so you know, them lift me up another year, everybody in have a community, I become that era, you know, that won the DJ contest, and while, while living in Southside, and you know, loving the music because you know it's still a go on. I'm with the contest, everybody I talk about it. Um, Shabarangs come over there now, and Shabarangs come and mash up the place. So, uh, this up, me get the ranks because Shabarangs come create a whole heap of, whole heap of vibe. Mm-hmm. And I add up the ranks, you know, I add up the RANKS, and further down in life, I say, you know, me, 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 I met Rubber Ranks in the UK. And I love, I, I just love the way rubber ranks spell the ranks. I'ma say, yo, never spell my ranks like that. <laughs> With the X instead of the KS. KS, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that's where I got the ranks from. All right, big. All right, so you're back home now. You're the hometown hero. Stuff is going on. What were your next moves into going towards music or thinking about music at this time here? 
Now, we, we, we never really I think about music at the time, but we know I have that talent there. Mm -hmm. You know, because, you know, I go primary school, only family primary at the time. You know, Tula Street, Kingston, Central Kingston. Mm -hmm. Would I pass my exam now? Mm -hmm. Leave the primary school and pass my exam in 1986. And I went to Excel High School. That's where my talent start to grow. And I know that this is something I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Because whenever they have like, options in, in, in the class and sometimes the teacher that come my brother would have not the next I would have DJ other people sang and I was one of them who always entertain the class mm -hmm. you know and from there um we, we move from south now and live at Mountain View live at GX Road GX Avenue a sound over the name Trisonic so for the same road where me live okay. so this is now an evening time used to go catch my practice and then now, CM 1986, them carry me a studio for the first time, go a King Jammies. 38 cent, 38 cent Lucia Road, Kingston 11. I never forget that. My school school that day, they go a studio. Mm -hmm. And I did this dub plate, and one go, and everything was right. And from this, so, yeah, me I do the thing. So I go to school, and then leave school, and go to my arrows, you know. And Yo, the thing it just start build, it just start build and it build, build, build till I guess I will it. Right. No, all right. That's the journey that we're trying we're trying to get through. All right. So you went to Jamies. Who did you actually record the dub for? The same song that 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 that, that um come from GX Avenue, Trisonic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And at that time there when you're recording dubs, it was a one take. It's yeah, my yeah, straight to plate. Straight to plate. Straight to plate. So you have to learn how not to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Or if you, if it ever turn a mistake, you turn a mistake in our style. Yeah, yeah. I know that's how a lot of people even got their style was it was they were DJing, turned it a mistake, and then they turned it into a style. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Big thing, big thing. There. All right. So then now you're doing your stuff here, Jammies. What was your next move now? Because you went. Remember to get into Jammies this time here. A lot of people had to wait at the gate. They couldn't get in or whatsoever. But I guess because you went with a song. You yeah, yeah. We went, went there to do dub. So I got there with the song. Somebody I forgot you. Mm -hmm. You know. But after that, my 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 still, my, my still I go to school. You know, and I'm um, gonna get my little summer job too. I used to work at ILO supermarket. I used to work at Sovereign supermarket. Up by Sovereign Plaza there at Matilda's corner. I used to work at ILO downtown at Orange Street. And now um, I mean Sovereign down, downtown at Orange Street. I used to work at ILO right at Ligani across the road. You know? And after me leave this, so I used to do um, welding because I, I can weld. And I used to weld down at E.I.E. E. Campbell off Langston Road because I'm telling me live at JX Road. So I walk go work a morning time and I get $60. For the week, it's crazy, amazing. crazy, and, 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 and then now my book, my book, a bridging in there. Yeah, Mike, he teach me off well, good. But Johnny, you now we did own Trisonic, he used to work over EIE -E, Campbell, also. So, you know, it's a link get me in the day. But while I do it, the man, I say, Yeah, my DJ, God, Trisonic, you know, and then I go arrows, but mm -hmm. hungry nearly kill me down there. Because <laughs> 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 you can't pass the gate. Mm -hmm. Nobody don't know you. Yeah. You know? And um, my, 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 my leave excellence and start go evening class. Uh, I don't know technical evening class because I wanted to become an accountant because the, my, 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 my ambition was to become a pilot. Because, but when I got high school, I never liked the geography teacher. So I never pay much, much interest in that class there. Mm -hmm. You know, so my father now tell me, say, yo, me have to find a job. <laughs> See, so which me never want to work yet. I start but even in class, but I go over hours to some of the time then. Mm -hmm. and me tell about in the nineties now, you know. Mm -hmm. and one day we don't have hours and no, I go to evening class and pan it, miss pan it so rest in peace. Because without pan it, maybe mood I work in our office now. Panet came over by Dunn one, one, one evening, like in my room over there, and he saw me in class. I said, yo, Denny, what you are doing here, sir? Come here, man. <laughs> See? And them telling me I'm the good in my principal of business class. Mm -hmm. 
zine, me know how to balance, use my journal and my ledger and all of them things there. And my go outside, go talk to you, man. After my talk to Panet, Panet, say, you don't need to learn nothing more in a youth. Because you can't DJ. Come to studio. Mm. So, all right, Saturday never start come to studio back, you know? Mm-hmm. And from that Saturday until now, I'm going to stop by studio. Crazy, because of the great Panet here. Yeah, man, may Panet so rest in peace. How did he even recognize you in the first place? Because you weren't even really out there at that time, per se. No, you know, as, a, as an artist, you know, sometimes dance keep or you pass through mm-hmm. and you know, chat your little one or your two lyrics where you have. But the, the main thing about it, I was always a DJ who DJ upon time. Mm-hmm. So my timing was always good because if you listen to my music them up to this day, mm-hmm. I always depend on the beat. I'm a DJ half beat. Mm-hmm. You know? And I'm not even because yo, a great musician, no a great musician when them see them. For sure. That's big dear. Panhead of all people you could think of is gonna stop and seeing you in class of all places at that too and got you to come back to the studio on the Saturdays. Yeah, man, Panhead, man. May so rest in peace, Panhead. I love you. For sure. Because I you I you do this. Mm-hmm. And what studio was it that you started to go to now? We start I'm out of arrows. Okay, so then now you got in because Panet said, okay, come down. So then now you have an no, invite to get in. No, I'm not going to the studio yet. <laughs> we'll go, they go hang out and more time. Some someone come and they, you say, yo, we'll go do the intro for you. And you get a little $10 or $20, you know. Uh, you luckily when you're in there, do the intro. I'm going to do a tune. You chop up on a little piece and you get an extra $50, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But but the, the time when I really went in there now to, to record is Beaker Bailey. Them time the Iman Dukes ranks a DJ as a team. Mm-hmm. He could barely came to the studio one day to do some dubs. And, say, and you know, everybody outside of DJ said, Yo, come in. And, and from B Kabili mm-hmm. took me through that gate at Arrows, because them time they shelter rack at all the gate. Yeah. From come through that gate until this day, everything changed. Crazy. And so I guess you knew, so Beetle Bailey just heard you DJ and said, you know what, I like you, come in. Yeah, come in. What's going on. Yeah, yeah. And while they you know, me meet a whole heap of other artists around the daddy school in a mega band, no, not mega band, and, um, Teddy Banton. Teddy, Teddy Banton, may your soul rest in peace to cause them man the pass off. Okay. A Teddy Banton and a youth named June Amichi mm-hmm. made me do my first record will come out. Because Chicken Chess and, and a brother named John, we used to hang out right at Sutton Street and Duke Street corner with a label called Wild Geese Label. Mm-hmm. They did have a studio session one night. And Teddy Banton and June and said, yo, studio session up there. We are go up there. Come in. Mm-hmm. And the same night, Buccaneer record too. Buccaneer wasn't a, a star as yet. Okay. So, so Teddy Banton... Juna Michi, myself, Buccaneer, and a bridging called Gonzalez record on the rhythm. Them time the gig 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 rhythm around the place, yes. 1992. Mm-hmm. I'm a DJ song called The Girl them of the Nefa Donna, Donna go put on Gabito, Girl pick me your food up and they go. It go out like a thing, you see me? Yeah. I'm, I heard myself on the radio for the first time, October 1992. And yo, I feel good. Mm-hmm. Gary G, the fireman Gary G, play my tune. And them time that Gary G around the place. For sure. You know? And yeah. that was Irie FM. Irie, Irie FM. <laughs> <laughs> if you made it to Irie FM back in those days there, you know, okay. it, you, you, you understand. Yeah, Good. yeah. All right. So you have your song. You're hanging out at the dub plate studio. Your song is starting to bubble up in the streets, I guess. So when it's a, it's a player. It's a yeah. player. No, nah, bubble, but it's a player. You know? Got you. You'd hear it here and there, there. Here and there. Here on the radio and thing, yeah. Okay, so when did you meet Ninja Teeth? I met Ninja Teeth nineteen ninety three. Okay, so then this is the so year after. I'm a, a fact. The whole of their arrows, nineteen ninety two, nineteen ninety, come to them. Tell the Ninja Teeth was Ninja Kids. Him and Ninja Kid, when they Ninja Kid, now the two of them was a team. Them DJ together. Okay, let me tell you the funny thing. I, back then, I used to think Ninja T was Ninja Kid. I didn't know that they were no, two separate people. Yeah, yeah, the two of them are Ninja Kid. Ninja mm-hmm. Kids at the time. Mm-hmm. But Ninja Kid now did get them get a break. Cause mm-hmm. they sing sing back a song. Boom bye bye between the girl them legs. Mm-hmm. So people say understand. So Ninja Kid 
end up have to break the team and go by himself go solo. Mm-hmm. You know, and Ninja T, you now when I did at studio one time in 1993, you know, 1993, you now come over in 1993, come here tell you all me and Ninja T team up. Mm-hmm. 1993, April 30. I can't remember the date like right now, like yesterday, like today. Mm-hmm. Um, Major McWilly used to have a song, uh, have an intro before him do him song them. See, because major, major time when Major McWilly in the studio, most of the time when Major McWilly in the studio, mm-hmm. I will be in the studio, give him a vibe, or Ninja T to that, that, give him a vibe. But Major McWilly have an intro where I say, You sound what over there, so if you play one more tune, you suck the pussy. Mm-hmm. If you play one more tune, you fuck the body. I know them time there, you know, it's just that's all human fun, you know. And every time I say, you know, the studio mash up and thing. So April 30, me and Ninja Teed sit down from the step. Because them time they were graduate from outside, so we could have come inside of the studio. Mm-hmm. And we sit down from the, from the step near to go to Road, Rosebud Sportwear. Because Mr. Rose did have a, have, a, have, a, have a factory upstairs where they make sports wear. Okay. So, so you, have, you walk through the studio, you go straight, but you have a next step where you go upstairs. Mm-hmm. But I, w- I was fortunate enough to can sit down inside. And we call Ninja Teeth. And we link up and we say, yo, we're going to make a tune with the intro with Major Mackerel out. <laughs> Remember this now, no, muscle. Mm-hmm. We go so bam. Mm-hmm. And from $50 to $20 to sometimes free intro, sometimes a man give a thing. Mm-hmm. But they say, April 30, 1993, my life changed. Because we turned that intro into a song. Yes. So that so that so if we don't play one more to the song, pussy, if we don't play one more, that song they kill a whole heap of sound. All right, that day. Mm-hmm. I have to big up LP International. They, they are the first international sound to get that dub there. Okay. But we gave we gave that dub to a sound name. What the sound name again? Sound from shit. I must forget that man. Mm-hmm. It, but the sound come from Dunkirk. Mm-hmm. It was a Wednesday night. If you check it, yeah. And them have a clash the night. A test. We are test the dub. But we are testing, we have a tune, see? And we are testing the man. Physical, the sound here. Got you. Physical. A physical first get that up there. Mm-hmm. But LP did it in the studio. When we are doing it for physical, put the pun on it with him. Yes. If we don't play one more tune, we're going play one. And, and yeah, believe me, we have the whole studio and our friends that say, yo, everybody, yo, that's it. So LP did it in there. Mm-hmm. And hear it and say, yo, we are going to New York. I need this for carry up. And I say, you are five grand more for that song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I say, we are come from anything yeah. to five grand. And the man say, yo, I have five grand, a three grand. The first time we get three grand in my life, I sing. A LP gave me 1500 for Ninja Teeth, 1500 for me. Mm-hmm. And from this up, we, we go to the next day. I sing from morning till night. We pack it full up. The song was instant. Physical coming to the studio the next day. So, yo, we tear off the board them face with this. Everybody want it now. Everybody. David Radigan fly down from England, come interview with. Hmm. No, because I remember those times, that song in particular, that's one of those legendary soundcast songs where at one point, if somebody had played that song on you, yeah. the dance is basically... Done until you find a way to go around it. Split up the dance, split up. <laughs> there was, I think it was so crazy one time until after a while, you guys had to actually come up with a counteraction. counteraction. For, yes, mm. yes, because it was just that wild. Yeah. No sounds got chopped with that. Yeah, but kill a whole person. So sometimes when them people here, then nobody is you with you are going like me and a veteran or me and a legend or. I'm not supposed to be recognized in this music business. Sometimes we just overlook it because I know what I've done. For sure. And people like you know. Mm-hmm. But it's for them to find out. And majority of the time, them don't, them don't do no research. Them don't do history. 
So because them don't do history, them don't know it. But me, I, if you notice, I never curse them. I always try to work with them. Yeah. Because if you don't know, you don't know. Makes sense. Yeah, man. All right, so you guys have the song that's burning up the road. Not even the song, the dub right now, because this dub. is a street sound man, sound killing. Yeah, yeah I'm going to All right. I'm from this, I'm going to make my first, like, whole heap of money. Whole heap of money. Bank book stack up. Mm -hmm. And Ninja Teeth wasn't the, wasn't the one who loved the record. They loved the plate. Got it. But, but I am the man that loves to do record. Mm -hmm. Because me know say record go everywhere, dub play, play one place at a time. Mm -hmm. You know, and we did that song, we did a couple more songs together. Um a lady named Opie now from Tampa, Florida. Mm -hmm. She came to the studio one time and she heard me singing. Them time I me, me, me do a next song now called Ball It Out, a girl no more than you. Yes. Zane, I do that on dub plate, on a pepper seed with him. Don't mm -hmm. have arrows. I get, it a go on good in that dance hall. Stone lover plate, jam rock a plate, metro a plate, everybody a plate. And she, she, she heard me singing that song. A lady named Opie Miller, big up herself. I call her my mother, you know. And she took me to, to Junior Reed studio where Kurt Riley record me. And Junior Reed pepper seed with him. Mm -hmm. Zane, some girl have a row friend show, while some I take them friend man fit show. I dig up them chest and I go on like a dang. See it, you know, girl, you are going to mash up them plan. So sing along, ball it out, no girl no more than you. Remember, mash up, mash up this. So now, I have sound tune and I have girl tune. Mm -hmm. so, and if I remember good, that same song, you cut that song on dub a lot also because this is now your second song that yeah. you have no you have to practice in the dub room first mm -hmm. it's not like no a man go vice a tune and send it out back then it have a pass in the dub studio first if it now the good in the double lab nobody think about recording mm -hmm. you know and there you know we just start i, I just start develop uh, my love for recording mm -hmm. you know because people start come to me now we start go foreign I start make money. Me, 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 me used to take taxi till the taxi man like, give me a car for drive some time. We start rent car till we own car. Mm -hmm. You know? And people uh, I say, yo, Delhi Rang. So I can remember this. A, a brother come from New York one time. But to me, man, muscle, at the best un, from pandemic, people are seeing me, you know, because he's a man stay unseen. See? Yeah. But just do the work and hide. Mm -hmm. See, a, a brother, I can remember this. A brother come from New York one time to come record me and Ninja Teeth. Mm -hmm. See, and I see the man, I come to the gate and say, Yo, Ray, why go on, big man? The man say, Yo, I don't want to talk to you. Delhi Ranks and Ninja Teeth, I look for. I remember I said, Delhi Ranks in pass. <laughs> see, and when I go to Ninja Teeth now and say, Ninja Teeth, where Delhi Ranks? I'm telling you, Sell a Delhi Ranks, that's your pass. <laughs> <laughs> The man apologized to me a million times, but to me, it's not a, it's not a youth who love the, the limelight. Yeah. My life for me, the work speak for me. Mm -hmm. Make my work make you want to see me. And I, I, I grew with that type of attitude. Some people say it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a um, hold back for me, but to me, I don't feel so. Because most of the people are say run out in the limelight. Me not see them, and I'm here today doing this. You totally get it. You brought up a rhythm, pepper seed rhythm. This is so then we're talking about this is probably 93 ish time here. That's 93. I go in a 94, ended okay. a 93. Yeah. Pepper seed, this time you had like, um, I knew you and Daddy Screw started to link. If this is pepper seed time, because he started to get into the Dave Kelly camp at this time. Here. No, because remember, I know the pepper seed, I tell you about on a Dave Kelly pepper seed with him, you know. Mm hmm. Junior Reed. Junior Reed, they make a cut off of it. Mm -hmm. But that is who come from the East. Such, mm -hmm. I came from the East, though. Mm -hmm. See, so that is who used to come at Arrows, and you know, I'm a DJ. We and Wanda, I'm a singer. Mm -hmm. You know, Terra Fabulous used to hang out down there. So, you know, Louis Culture, we DJ, everybody come down there. So we know each other. But because we live at Mountain View, and that is who live at um, Rallington Town at the time. Mm -hmm. we, we, we just have a vibe. 
You see me? Spraga Benz forward into the mix to from Dunkirk come forward into the mix. Because one of the time me and Spraga Benz are spar. I, I am Red Square. I am Red Square even to this day. But I, I mean, I mean, we are that brand like, oh, some people that say, yo, Red But Spraga Benz will tell you, I am original Red Square because I used to go up there and hang out. That's crazy because I remember Red Square was Spraga Benz Sugar Slick. Um, it was I, 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 am, I am there before them. I okay. am there. I am there before them. Spraga yeah. Benz will tell you. I am there. Spraga, that's why even to, to date, me and Spraga Benz have a song called Big Time. Mm -hmm. It was long overdue. Mm -hmm. But as you know, we as a youth grew up spiritual. We said nothing happened before the time. At all. You know? So, yeah, so the, 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 the mountain view, the east side link, just link right there. So, mm -hmm. you know, me have a next virgin named Jimmy San. Mm -hmm. You know, him did have a song named Dembo and Shabarang said do a song named Dembo to them to say Shabarang step with him lyrics or whatever. You know, but I'm a virgin that Jimmy song. Mm -hmm. You see me? Crazy. So at one time, was it you, Ninja Teeth, and Daddy Screw all parring, or was it these are two different times? Two about? different times. Two different times. Because mm -hmm. I spar with Ninja Teeth because we did do the, the, the sound song together. We did have a couple vibe go on. And that is school come from the east. I can ninja teeth come from Nannyfield, which is east, same way. Okay. And that is school come from um Rallington Town. I, I used to live in Jake's Road at the time. So it's just an east link, mm -hmm. you know? And Ronald come from up a Papine, but we link up our arrows because believe me, mm -hmm. arrows was like a family tree. Most artists were uh, like my age are little older than me when sitting out of arrows. Mm -hmm. We are we are family. Can we treat each other with love and respect? Mm -hmm. Cause I I I now go see you go up the road, and me I go up the road. I'm gonna go and leave you. No, me go carry you with me. If me go into the studio and make a money, and you not have no money, me go share. That's how we grew up. Mm -hmm. You know, but that is school now. Like. 1994 ending 1995 now, me and that is school starts with Steely Tech, we on them wings now, and we are built Studio 2000 with Steely. Okay, so this was when you connected. Okay, so you're not really partnered with Ninja T again. Did no, but many of my, 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 my bridge and see with Ninja T mm -hmm. because, as I told you earlier, Ninja T wasn't the one that loved to go to the recording studio. He yes. like forgot the dub plate studio. Mm -hmm. So when recording, when dub plate studio time done, Mm -hmm. Magana recording studio. Mm -hmm. So with Daddy Screw now, this is the Studio Two Thousand. This is pre Dave Kelly, or this is no, after no, Dave no. Kelly. After Dave Kelly. Okay, so you didn't get into the Dave Kelly camp at all. No, no, no. But I, 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 I share a couple of studio sessions with, with Dave Kelly. When, when even Frisco Kid advice, but um, Pepper C that was there. Mm -hmm. You know, when Spraga Benz a record from Pepper C that was there at Penthouse Studio. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but I didn't get a, get get an a, a opportunity to record on a Dave Kelly mm -hmm. production, but I also respect Dave Kelly because he only put on it. For sure, one thousand percent. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so it was no reason in particular that you didn't get to link with Dave Kelly. It was just one no, of those didn't connect. So, so even last year, I saw Dave Kelly. Not last year, year before last, mm -hmm. I saw Dave Kelly by Bojo Banton Studio. Oh, will I vibe? Mm -hmm. You know, but I just say, go. Sometime you're gonna make it, and sometime you're not gonna make it. Mm -hmm. You're you're right there. Okay, so then you and Daddy Screw get to Steely and Cleveland. Yeah, because and yeah, because Steely rate me now. Steely got Steely got uh, um until it, uh, this is 1995. No, mm -hmm. see, because we do 1993, 94. We are 1995 now, right? Mm -hmm. So Steely have a rhythm name Skettle with him. Was Spraga Benz ever no? She wrong. She mm -hmm. can't take him a Bushman. Rings in shot in head, you see me? Um, that is cool. Y'all jump and say, yeah, no, 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 in Nastri, poor man. Y'all, the man, she buy an half, go a gym. But I record a song on that same beat called, she no want to sentinel on her property. She want the freedom for the what she like, you know? Mm -hmm. When we record a song, then I was stealing, never there, Jamaica. Okay. And me and Daddy Squad spar them time there. So Mikey record me, Mikey and Cleaver record me. And I really Mikey mix up, I really man, cynical dynamic sound, mix up between a cynical dynamic sound, and cut label and everything, you know? Steel, they never know. So when Steel come back now, Steel, they wonder how oh, them put up the song. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because, you know, most things Steel have to approve. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But by the time I see the combat now, I sang a do good at Jamaica. So the studio 2000 start farm now, that is cool there because that is cool. I still did them a link up and them a do some work. Mega Bantan did in a studio 2000. So Bushman did it. That's, that's, when, that's when we made the song called Remember the Days. That was with Bushman and who else was in that song there? Bushman, myself, that is cool. 10%, um, Sasha, um, Sharon Forrester, Benji Myers, Skiata, you know? All on one song. Dan Youth was on it too. Yeah, one song. And we did that video at Tough Gang Studio. Remember the days I wanted to say, yes. and me, and me and Daddy School and Cleave really made that song there, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I, I was just come up with the idea. And then, you know, from the summer murder. Crazy. And what was it like the first time you met Steely? Because a lot of people know that Steely was like a rough type of producer. He Steely. wasn't the nice type of guy. Steely is a no nonsense man, but if him rate him, rate him. Mm-hmm. Because I can remember, um, I think it's 1996 now, or 97, I don't remember which day. Steely, I go away and left the Benz with me. I'm here to drive Steely Benz. And, and Colin Fatter ride me down one day. Mm-hmm. And I, I, ride, I drive the Benz and because if I to ride me down and stop me and say, yo, if steal a gear and bends, you're special. Some boy, you're special. <laughs> See? <laughs> you know? But I was just doing what, what I know mm-hmm. to do. I was just being myself. Mm-hmm. You know? And there I really learn how to punk on the keyboard because steal it tell me, say, never can freeze three of my finger them for play a keyboard. Mm-hmm. Say so if you can't freeze through your finger them because you have to carry them cross. Them three finger you have, so you have a freeze. The big finger, that one here and that one here. And you mm-hmm. keep hold them to your underneath because you have to carry, for, carry cross. You see me? And, and Steely also taught me how to record. Because okay, he so said, so when you record, nobody bite up your word. Them. <laughs> I'm saying nobody do them thing then. You have to sing good. Mm-hmm. Rude boy, you helper, man, no helper, all, cause that's a one of the first songs. Steely really sit down and record me. I'm saying, so, why you? Ooh, 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 nobody in a them something there. More you sing, relax. Cause you could hear every word in that song there, Pelpa. Yeah, yeah. Every single word you so, could so hear it word for word. Cause, cause, cause at that time I was in training, now recording, I, mm-hmm. in recording training because remember, so we are come from the dub plate studio. We have to sing a certain way for the dub plate. It. And then in you know, the recording booth is a different booth from the dub plate booth. For sure. So, so I learned that. That's why even sometimes people would have said, I'm not that aggressive when I sing. Mm-hmm. And, or sometimes engineer mix my voice and mix it low because my vocal is so comfortably in there. You feel like it's right. But sometimes mm-hmm. I have to call them back and say, push up my vocal some more. Mm-hmm. Crazy. So even before we get to the Pelpa, because I know that was a production that you're working with. Um, Shines. Shines. Yes. Yeah. So even before you get to that there now, you meet in Steely, you guys formed the Studio 2000 camp here now. Steely at Cleveland Farm, them thing, man, but we did it, so them just involved us in it. Mm-hmm. And what were the movements? What were you guys looking to actually do with this camp here now? Met music. I know every, every big rhythm Steely I put out, we have a dip on it. Mm-hmm. And what were some of the big rhythms that came out at that time there? Uh, we have Colombian necktie. Mm-hmm. We have copycat. Mm-hmm. We have a next one. What I want to name again? The, the street, not the street sweeper. Um, what I want to name again? Batman no fight over, girl, girl, fight over. We. Yes. That, that rhythm there. Mm-hmm. You know? Sniper. Mm-hmm. Sniper rhythm. Because we did the, do the thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And did you guys start traveling as a crew also? Yeah, in, in Jamaica, we get call them time to know me and that is cool, a par, par now. That is cool, come pick me up in my yard, me and him go up in the studio from morning till night. I'm going to drive that is cool car, sometimes that is cool going to fire and me have that is cool car too, because, you know, come like, everybody trusts me for leave me with them things, come and take care of people things. Mm-hmm. Um, I can remember one day, me I reverse out the car from out of the studio, I rub off the car door. Mm-hmm. I'm come back in and said that is cool, John No Star. Mm-hmm. But just rub off the car door at the, at the, at the gate. And John, I think I'm going to box me down and get mad with me. 
That school came out and looked on the car and said, Yo, that can't fix my car, right? I said, Yeah, man. For so far, you're all right. My good man and my God do what I have to do and come back and they're still there and they will go get the car fixed. And you know, That's yeah, man. Moving around. So, you, so you, it's now you and Daddy Screw moving around doing what you're doing. Were you guys actually traveling together? It's more just a daytime hanging out type of thing. He does no, man. And, and anyway, my God, my daddy, man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, my God, my daddy, man. Because Daddy Screw is a brother. I can't tell you this, I lift up my hats to him mm -hmm. because one of the time I feel like them never to rate me, although I do my thing and I do good. And that I, I can remember this specific time that is was stick up a producer. Mm -hmm. We want to record him and say, You have to record Delhi if you want to record me. Mm -hmm. And you have to record Delhi first. Yeah. See, that stand out. Things like that will never leave out of my brain. That's why I like to help artists. Because I know how it feel when somebody help you. So big up that is cool anyway I'm there. Love you endlessly, my brother. For sure. So I guess at this time here, he was the he had the bigger hits. So then he had more of the he could he had more of a say at that time there. That is cool. The that is cool. The man. I remember said that is cool. I leave Dave Kelly Madhouse and a power steel. So he have a lot of hits on them belt. Mm -hmm. You know, and me and my spar as a as, as a two bridge two brother spar. You know, and there's nothing too good for that is school to do for me. Yeah. If you meet a girl and she have a sister, he might make me get the sister. Crazy. So that, that that's the type of friendship that is cool and I had. And we still have. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're talking about, you just said, okay, at this time here, you're just getting into production at this time here now. Because Steel is the one mentoring you in production? Um, No. 1990, I do it from late 1993, 1994, because the firehouse school used to leave me at the studio for them studio time for them over anchor studio, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, them try to make me, um, I mean, if I sang, if I not pass, I sang a car record. Mm -hmm. So again, that experience from the firehouse school. So big up George Nilla, big up Wrong Move, and big up Danny Lacey, because I, I got a great opportunity to, to know how music supposed to sound. How did you even get behind the boards? Because you're you you're supposed to be in the booth recording. How did you get behind the boards in the first place to even start fooling around with that? Ask Almighty God, you know, because not even me can't tell you how I get there, but I was there. Mm -hmm. it, it was it it was whatever that's RD in. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't even know if me tell us how I get behind them, I lie me at him. I may not tell a lie for myself, but just did it and it just flow. Yeah. And from there, you really like, you said, hey, some, a light bulb went off yeah, in your yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, me know I have a, another talent, you know, me can hear it. Because mm -hmm. even Mr. Vegas can tell you, mm -hmm. in a day, when I'm when just a bus out, mm -hmm. and me had the test of him tune them and tell him, we should have it. Me used to tell him, say, yo, if him send me 20 songs, I'll pick out the one where I say, run with this. I don't want you to go and it work. So me and, me and, me and, me and Mr. Vegas build a, a great friendship, a great brother life. Mm -hmm. You know, and until, um, you know, when I was working with Bo Music, Flabber them, um, Bounty Killer, they do a song with this Mr. Vegas and I, or two, me I work with Bo Music, but I wasn't there at the time when the song was recorded. Mm -hmm. You know, Mr. Vegas did feel a way, say, me know about it. So he did kind of hold a vibe against me until me see him and say, I wasn't there, I don't know about this song. Mm -hmm. You know, and from that we, we push things outside and we, we're blood till this day. For sure. Big, big, big. All right. We had brought up a rhythm earlier called the tri tarantula. Tar tarantula. Tar tarantula. Yes. Always so hard for me to pronounce that word there. Tarantula. That rhythm there. All right. Okay, cool. How did that all come around now? A 1997 that now you're rich. 97. Okay, so we're skipping a year. So something happened in 96. Na, 1996. 1996. Them tell me we are going, you know. So, I only put in a we start travel and we are, we are, we are, near, near the only put in go all over the place, you know, mm -hmm. America, Bermuda, Canada, everywhere. Can we start moving you now? Mm -hmm. You understand? No, I think I went to Canada in 97. So, we start, we have America and, and, and Caribbean and all about. So, um, Back in, in the 1996, now come over and I said, My Virgin, she and Richards, we used to go Excelsior together. So, um, 
and I don't remember how my, my, my name link up, but we link up. Mm -hmm. I'm just come back from foreign. And I say, yo, I see you go on good in a Delhi. And I want to come into the production world and I want to do some production and would I like you help me out. Mm -hmm. See, you know, I say, all right, cool. And them time I'm near steal it, them a link. So I say, yo, you have to come up and steal it, make steal it, make with him for you. And then we we'll take it from there. You have to buy your tape and mm -hmm. come make it with him. And then we we'll take it from there. And he did what he was told, mm -hmm. you know, and steal it, make the tarantula with him for him. My voice spell pop on it, my voice being a man, mm -hmm. rounded, mm -hmm. um, make a banter, at, make a banter on the planet. I don't, I don't remember. I know power man the planet, mm -hmm. you know. Go the red go rat. Red 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 rat. Them, yeah. um, I use them phantom from Rockford and, and Shine's um, nephew, Demo, 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 Delgado. Mm -hmm. Yeah, them or them, they got it from CV, you know. But the rhythm come out and go on with a bag of things. Yeah. But I was there, he was the executive producer, and I was there and putting things together, steal it also. And rhythm go on and thing. And Pelpa becomes one of a, a, a big hit song in a New York City for me. Because mm -hmm. when we go to New York City, I wanted the song that will make a whole heap of money. Up to even this day, people still call me and want the song they found up. Mm -hmm. And I had two songs on that rhythm because we did have one named Dorky also, a girl song. Y'all from you know, not people do a for us. Take out your Dorky, that you for sure. The man never yet called you about us. You see me? Mm -hmm. Be your things, you know? But it was Pelpa really Pelpa. Pel Pelpa, Pel 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 yeah, Pelpa, 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 So you guys are doing, so that was your first production. Now it's, it's a no, huge production. It was my production. It was no. Shine's production. But Shines, I was, yes. I, 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 was, I was doing the, the production work. Got you. So then what was the next project that you guys worked on together? The Black Widow Rhythm. Next big, big, big rhythm there. Yeah, 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 yeah. A rhythm that they go on good, good. Very, very good, you know? Mm -hmm. Big up shines because I argue animal, you know, we always strive for excellence, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. What year did that rhythm come out, the Black Widow? At 1998. 98. Okay, so it was a year between both productions. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, in them time, the music, you, you, you know, have a force to put out an extra rhythm fast. Mm -hmm. Because, and I like no way, everybody have a studio. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's true. Okay, so you guys are doing your stuff 98. So then how yes. many projects did you guys work on together? I think we worked on about three projects together. Mm -hmm. um, the, 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 the Tarantula, the Black Widow, and a rhythm called Goblin, where boss Zebra. Zebra boss on the Black Widow and then, and then boss up that, that, the, the Goblin rhythm too. Okay. And then the same breath, when I work with Q45 also, I said, because Q45 come from foreign to one. I saw the link me also. Well, because, believe me, most of me is a man, I just like help people, and I just like to see people happy. And most time people say, people use me. But you can't use me if me get help in on. Yeah, you're right. I'm just, I'm just being myself, doing what I'm supposed to do. I was put here to, to help people to become what them, whatever they want to, to become, stars or moon or sky but me know say me come do my part so if even me ever do something for you now you becomes the biggest star you know do nothing for me my job already done so i never worry i never curse me just move on to the next one mm -hmm. and, and I, i've been doing that till me start doing it for myself yeah <laughs> i hear you <laughs> we're talking about 98 there was one big moment in 98 which was your birthday party that yeah. you kept in Cactus. That was where Junior Cat and yeah, Monty Killer. I'm, I'm a vibe that night. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah you yeah, remember yeah. that night there? So my, my party, so I must remember. <laughs> Walk us through that night there, what that night there was like. All right, well, I'll tell you this. All right, back from 94 come up to 98. Mm -hmm. Me the girl, them DJ. Mm -hmm. I don't want to sound conceited, but the girls them they love me. And I said them don't love me now, but them time they every woman go every girl want the lyrics. See? And but, uh, Earl, Earl from Cactus, because he did a 
be the manager of a cactus at the time. You know, we link like that and I said, you know, I want to keep my birthday party. And I said, yeah, you have to put it on. Because oh, on Wednesday night, I put it on. Oh, it was a Wednesday night? Yeah, it was a Wednesday night. And I mm-hmm. make cactus pack up like sardine in a can. Mm-hmm. See, and all of my artist friends them came out. Because as I tell you, say, I'm not that type of youth that way. Old bad vibe with anybody. All people were said they would have disliked me. Make me chill. Mm-hmm. Because... My brother was killed in 1997. Mm. It kind of hurt my life so much. Even to this day, I talk about my brother. It hurt me. Mm. So I try not to involve myself where any confrontation, any bad vibe I go on. I take myself from that. Maybe and that's why I don't get that big brawl like when I see some man that said them get. But I'm still here. And if I'm here and I'm staying, that means I'm doing something good. For sure. But back to the party you now, and all of my virgin them come out, Captain Bark here, so rest in peace. We come on. See? Um, Mr. Easy, Baby Sham, We in Wanda, Bunty Killer, Junior Cat, um, um, Tony Curtis, Luke D. Everybody who come out, man. Everybody who come out. Them, they came out to support me. Mm-hmm. You know? And, and the people them that came out, um, for my birthday, that that the, the night they went there keep my birthday party, they came out to to, to celebrate with me because remember I said most of them never know say the people that were come they never come. Okay, it was just you invited artists whoever shows up shows up. Shows up. Have oh, a yeah, good yeah, vibe. yeah, yeah. You just have a good vibe. My virgin from England, Andrew Fresh Kid, fly down from England, Lord Gelly Sound. Them time the liquid name Lipo. Mm-hmm. Him the name ZJ Liquid. Him name Lipo and DJ Wien. You know. And Kappa Shot did the it, not Kappa Shot, I mean Renaissance and anybody who want to play. I think the Vibes Cartel, the DJ, the early end of the night too, before start time. I think so. If it's not 1998, it's 1999. Yeah. But I can remember one year Vibes Cartel come to me and say, yo, Deli, I can't get a chance for DJ. I am say, of course, come in. Mm-hmm. Zina, I want to tell you, say, 2005 Vibes, Vibes Cartel, remind me. Say yo, me tell him he's a man me respect you because when did they keep your party? See, I ask if you got DJ, you never tell me no. Mm-hmm. So you pay your dues already. So big up Adi Bantan, Adi, Vibes Cartel, same way. See, anyway, they big up yourself, Cartel. Crazy. Yeah, so with that same birthday party here, the 98 in Cactus, you were actually the MC that night there also. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me had the MC that night there, yes. Mm-hmm. So what happened when, okay, when Junior Cat DJed his lyrics, and then now it was time for, there was a, somebody in between Junior Cat and Bounty. I can't remember who it was. He didn't come on right away. What did you think was going to happen after you heard Junior Cat DJ those lyrics? That you know kill, you know how Killer stays there. All right, first thing, me never know that Killer did ever come. Got you. Me never did know that Bounty Killer did it. Mm-hmm. I never know say baby shabba go come either. Because we see the flyers, they never depend on it. Hmm. See him? Mm-hmm. And and um and um when Juna kept DJ bust up the place, and bust up the place, bust bust up the place, Frisco kid bust up the place, everybody do them thing. Mm-hmm. But when Bunty Killer fall with the place erupt, can member say ten times they are bunty killer run the whole place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see me? And it was a nice musical buckle mm-hmm. because I enjoyed it. Even when I even when me I watch it back in a no time. Yeah. I feel good. Those times were amazing because you'd see everybody's on stage at the same time. One microphone passing it around and it was just vibes. And that that I wanted what that I one of the classes that I wanted to class them where my, my, my co-workers, them, my new co-workers, them now, them don't get it yet. Mm-hmm. And I would have liked to see my new co-workers, them, we're, we're coming at the system now to try practice that. Mm-hmm. Because that is a class where from your after class, then you pass the exam in other class, then you're ready for anyway. Because mm-hmm. it's one rhythm running and you're just jumping in where you yeah, can get in and go. No, no, I'm not jumping. You have to know the timing. Mm-hmm. You have to know, and you have to have your lyrics in your head where you go talk, and you get the mic, and you don't know when it going to come to you, but you know so it's going to reach. <laughs> so you have to tie your timing off right. Mm-hmm. 
And I would love my new co workers them because I know this none of them because I love every one of my co workers them. Mm-hmm. You know, the new one them just try to form a body, a, 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 a team where like six or seven or ten of them can say, Yo, the whole of we have a one place and you have one. We have a DJ upon the rhythm here. Mm-hmm. We're going to bring back the 90s vibe in a no time. Mm-hmm. And if they do that, the love. I'm going to start show over back again. I got you. Okay, so it was a birthday party in 1998. So you, this is when you you were still producing with um your your partner at this time. Not your partner, somebody you're working with at this yeah, time. Yeah, my virgin, my virgin, man. My virgin shines, man. She and Richards, man. I can't remember we got Excel together, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, and and if if if, if, if you, 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 you go see him school with your virgin and we meet up at the same place, Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a different love mm-hmm. because it's like a, a, your brother this yeah you, you you go school together so when him coming at this and straighten when when him forward in the music him straighten my career also mm-hmm. because him come inject music to the world and me gonna be a part of it so it gonna help me too. That makes total sense, sir. And how long did yeah. that situation last for? I think about three years. For three years, and what was yeah. the next move for you from there? The next move from there, start doing my thing. Mm-hmm. No, me just, I didn't even start doing my, 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 um, my production yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but just did it, and just I do my dub play them and I do my shows them same and everything. And then I met, I met Louis Malcolm in New York City in the Bronx because my brother used to live in the Bronx. So sometimes we even would fly out for do a show. I would have stopped over New York for an like extra two or three weeks and spent some time with my brother and my virgin them from South. You see? Mm-hmm. And I, I met Louis Balcom, Bow Music. That's that's when Eddie could him come up. Uh, I'm a matter of fact, my record but I read him before that. For Flabber. Mm-hmm. I, I sang with me a Loki D called Call Me on the Phone. Girl want me number for service, me number. Call me on the phone. Call me on the phone. Zine and, and I really my flabber did have them time they I used them rally back and Christopher the good at New York City. Yes. Zine and and um Flabber Vice we panel with him there, but with the connection met there. Mm-hmm. But when Eddie could him come out now, him come a Jamaica and him vice but panel Eddie could him I have two tune on it, maybe have a, a, have a slack tune and they have a song called Waka Waka Fat Pan it. Spraga Benz they pan it, Tanya Steve they pan it, T O K they de pan it, you know. Just to name a few. And if they don't want to be in the man pan it, because mm-hmm. Eddie won, I never have nothing to do with the production side. So there was Ed, two two headaches. Yeah, Eddie won came out with like real up, you no carry waka waka fat. Mm-hmm. And TOK first, the first mistake was TOK Spagabins, Pagabins of a two name broke with Panit and Tanda Stevens of a two name Riga Marty span it. Mm-hmm. You know? But if they want to write Vice Beanie Man, but they never get from Vice Beanie Man and that cut. Mm-hmm. So, if they are foreign and they go so now, BAM! And Beanie Man want Vice now, so they end up link up Beanie Man for him and me and Zoom G. Thief some studio time of a penthouse studio and record Beanie Man. See? Okay. Cause I saw the link with me and Zoom J forward into from Waga Waga Fat Base cause Waga Waga Fat video. If you look on it, Zoom J in another video there. Cause me always I try to highlight new talent because me tell you all oh, my thing did go. Me they get left out. Mm-hmm. And me know how it feels. So me never from that me tell myself say me nah sidetrack no new youth. From once you're good, you will get an opportunity. It may not come the time when you want it, but from once me put it up on a rhythm, you come out. Anyway, we we'll teach the student that we we'll record being a man. Record being a man, October 1999. Mm-hmm. It was a day before my birthday, so that means October 13. My flag on New York, October 14. Mm-hmm. Carry up the being a man, come here and zoom J, set it up, and my carry it up on New York. See then Lexus signed to VP October 1999 too. Okay. So after what I seen him on cause my mama do that work here now. Mm-hmm. And then we go up and New York, my voice Lexus. We up in the them up in the them up in the way. We we record that song there. Um, 
a Philip Smart studio in a Long Island. Mm -hmm. I was the man behind the board and I tell him, man, I do the thing. So I saw comes now, get the production credits for Eddie too. But it wasn't my label, it was for Flabber. Got you. See, and then on my way the week after, which is October 21st, we have come back to Jamaica. Me and Flabber now, we have come to Jamaica say, we have come buy some more tune for it. And then I said to Flabber, say, yo, like how we do that, let me make that title track for the rhythm. Because we have been in Man of Forward now, we have Lexus, Academy Tiny Lexus, at like fire now, you know. Yeah. So me I say yo, my me, me, me voice the title track for the rhythm. So I find the idiot vibe in the plane. The title track in the plane I go to Jamaica. In there two A and me there two two B R two. One of them. We there in the first class I go. Mm -hmm. I go to Jamaica. Him I leave America and me I go. To, you see? Mm -hmm. And then we we'll link elephant for come voice on the rhythm. Come remember say me never know say. Me an elephant, I got the Eddie X song, you know. So this wasn't planned at first. No, me never know so that I got um, cover vice, vice keep preacher vice elephant. See, but when elephant come for vice him song now, Mr. Elephant, never idea, you know. Mm -hmm. me, me, you can't do that song, you know. I'm saying, let me hear it. Mm -hmm. me, me, me hear it go. Mm -hmm. I from me, I'm singing it for him, I'm saying. I'm going to send him around there, make him go do the theme part and go away. Because he's not there when my part. Do. Okay. Because Pento still record that song there, you know. See? And do the theme part and everything. I want him go and do my part. See? And after the mix now and everything. And we they put Kipri to provide Sean Paul on it too. See? This was your uh, first time connecting with Trump, Paul. Yeah. Got provide you. Sean Paul on it and because of bomb and 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 I feel about the link, you know, I feel about doing things, but I'm me, they behind the, the scene. And mm -hmm. buff now, we go so boom on two of them go back up a new New York a mix mm -hmm. when everything come down and we service the radio. I can remember Saturday, one Saturday about I think at one thirty. Kali Nines, I bust it by FM, FM, up up a mixing lab. Hmm. Up a mixing lab, Kali Nines, I bust off the tune, them pants, yo, where you bulb turn to me and say, That song here with your elephant, I got big enough. It's going to be one of the biggest songs for the radio. When you hear it, come never say, I don't know, me just a do. And bulb and bulb word come to pass, it became one of the biggest songs. Beanie Man song did well too, yeah. but the Eddie X song, see, till all, Lexus is copying melody and sing full hundred. Makes Cause, sense. Because the full hundred song are my idiot melody Lexus use. Mm -hmm. But because Lexus are my youth when I bring to the street. Enough people don't, don't even know that. You, you're the one that really brought Le Lexus. Lexus are my youth. Mm -hmm. And me used to call him from my stage. See it? So... You know, him come from 63 and me come from GX Road, the two way close. So I would even feel now we are saying you was something mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Because I love and we I tell us that we grow we grow we grow, we grow with love, you know? Yeah. Wow, okay, headaches pop tearing down the place now. You're doing your stuff, everything's popping. Everywhere. Up. Delhi ranks, England, Europe, everywhere now. Mr. start shell. Mm -hmm. Bam, then we'll come with Hurricane Rhythm after that. Mm, who's on that rhythm there again? Capitan, Black Woman, me, I hunt you, hunt you, hunt you. And who now work with me? Work around them. Mm -hmm. See? Mm. See, so right there, I'm a silent bummer, but them never know. Because remember, say, me is a man just there in my corner and I do the work and I now hype up myself. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't hype up yourself, and it becomes a hit, it, it, it takes a last longer. Mm -hmm. See? And that come out and everything start going good and, you know, Delhi Ranks becomes one of the, the, the them start say yo, I one of the great producers of this. But you didn't step out on your own at this time yet? No, I'm mean, not step out as producer yet. I'm still uh, the co-producer. The, the co-producer, I'm mean, produce for other people. Mm -hmm. But as I tell you, I never do it for no peer. 
Mm-hmm. May I do it because I love it. May I do it for as fun. Yeah. But I feel if me you do something and it becomes successful, if you start earn from it, you're supposed to share. For sure. Zain, and these are the things them do me. I come up where me I do the work, me I do me, me I be honest, me I do everything. And when time the money start time starts coming, you know, nobody no want to give me nothing. Mm-hmm. Zain, and you only can take it as far as you can take it. So. But couldn't take that no more. Somebody start the my thing. That's how pure music farm because pure music start from 1999. Yeah. I start my I started my own label, pure music production, and I didn't want to like me I compete with my virgin. Mm-hmm. Cause remember, me take on myself, and him no know so me take on myself, but me take on myself. Because I guess he didn't like the the because, vibe that was happening. Because, because you know if if if. We are doing something together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know you're investing in it, yes, and everything. But from once profit start make, mm-hmm. you can book off a little biscuit and give the youth and make him feel good. Like, yo, give thanks for where they do. Yeah. See? And I feel like I never I, I wasn't compensated for the works that women are put in and I feel like I can't do this. Yeah. And I can tell you that I respect all the experience that I've gained from all these people. Mm-hmm. And if me did supposed to do it again, me do it right over back again. Mm-hmm. Because if them never give me the opportunity to do it, my own, my, I couldn't be here doing this what I'm doing. So as Granny says, sometimes you have to pay for learn. You're so I don't me do. Right? So I pay for learn. And, but what I did now, I, I used to, I, I'm, I'm a huge reggae fan. Although me did sing dance art. That's why most of my music them so melodious. Because if you sing reggae, you have to have a lot of melody. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I remake the old broom rhythm. Dun, 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 cuckoo, dun, dun, dun. The, the old broom rhythm, firehouse rhythm. Because I was so close to firehouse, I could have linked George and tell him, say, yo, I have my tape, you know, and I need a rhythm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell him the rhythm of my want. Mm-hmm. Run, girl, if you old friend, say you find some new friends. Where you are going to do when the money do <laughs> You see me? Bam! Make that rhythm there. Louis Culture, I one of the first artists record for me. Yeah. All right, you know, so the other day I reach out to Louis Culture and remind him and say, yo, now I am well known as a producer in the music business. I want to record you. Because mm-hmm. I have to pay what I do. But he not get to do it yet. But one day to come. In the future, it will happen For because sure. I, I never forget where I'm coming from. That's why I know where I go. Louis, Luciana record for me, Luke D record for me, Christopher record for me, Burning Swords record for me. And when I put out that beat, I got it mixed by Soji over Anchor Student. Everybody, them surprised. Mighty Mike, may your soul rest in peace. Cause Mighty Mike you said deal with it. Wicked for IRFM. Try McLean. Garfield Hamilton. Dalton Leet. The man they used to beat it off. Mm-hmm. Me get a good buzz feet. But at the time now, Flabber was the one that had the link with the distributor in New York City. That was music ambassador. So I, I gave I gave him a dot cassette and 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 tell him to let music ambassador. Deal with it for me, just like all me with the Jamaica. Deal with the production for you. You go get my distribution. Deal with it for me in New York. Mm-hmm. And I gave him my, my that seed, my that cassette. But I gave me gave him it from December. And he didn't get my songs. My songs didn't come out until maybe March of the other year. That's 2000. Uh, 2000. Okay. I, I was really upset about it because. If, me t- if you tell me to do something for you, I jump and do it. Mm-hmm. And now the table turn around and you never jump and do it. But they feel that way. So, you know, it, as I, 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 I was on my way out. <laughs> but yeah, my virgin, I can't make too money and the learning experience when I get my vexed. I was on my way out, but I still are dealing with coming burn bridges. For sure. And if never the song them come out, the time them would have wanted to come out and it never get for do as good I want it for, for, for do. Mm-hmm. But you know, music comes and music goes. Mm-hmm. And from this, I know, because 
me not a curse. Me not want nobody to feel like me a curse nobody or make nobody feel like me eat for no man. Come in, I eat nobody. Mm -hmm. See, because I already tell myself, say, I came here to live and live in a love and unity and help who me can help and just do my part. But so after 2000 come now, and the thing that never come out, I book up a youth named Gary, Gary Samuels. But them times the me used to go a jam is regular. So I meet him over there as a little engineer and thing and I do him thing. But shocking vibes, them times I start, me, we used to hang out of shocking vibes, all when things are going over shocking vibes up a spring for you. So. Mm -hmm. See, and you know, Patrick Roberts did need an engineer. See, you know, I say, yo, I know a youth, you know. I know a youth, I can bring him come on. Because them times they, May I drive, may well be known and everything. I'm going to go for Gary and bring up our shocking vibes. And then they start to work up there and everything. And one day, you know, my bill of rhythm in there. Mm -hmm. The rhythm with him, NEC. Mm -hmm. But the, the rhythm then nearly get me in a trouble. The rhythm then nearly get me in a trouble with John John. How come? Because John John didn't have a rhythm named Time Bomb. Mm -hmm. Or the same kind of pattern. But I never know about time bomb. I mean, I know if Gary here, John John thing. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But John, in my bill is tang, 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 and it sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm say, Gary, this bad. I'm going to tell Gary to add some more things to it. Right? Anyway, I reckon Mega Band and Pan it. I see them acting up, I tell them to feel back down. See? I record myself on it, record a young artist called O'Neill Shines and Bun Pan on it. See? I record Bling Dog on it, them time there. I record, and record Rounded on it. Hmm. See? And when I record Rounded, Sean Paul is there the studio. And Chico is there the studio. See? And Chico start on the tune Ganja Breed and Sean Paul is there. I just said that song they come up. Mm. Then my link with Capitan and, and Capitan over anchor and me tell Capitan say yo, never really me would I like your voice point and keep me here Capitan burning now. Can't take the fire when we bounce on the baron. That one then you burning big and then Lexus. I'll be tell you Lexus I'm a brother. Mm -hmm. then, my voice Lexus point because at that time most people. Two bunty killer cost Lexus and thing most people, you know, but Miss I'm a brother still. Mm -hmm. My vice him name anyway, whatever. I'm a vice elephant pan it to Bucklefield. See, I'm a vice, my, my, my virgin pan it now, which, which up to this day, my feel say I wanted the body stone pan it him. J. Capri father, may J. Capri rest in peace. J. Capri father named Mr. Murphy. Yes, yes, I haven't heard that DJ in a long, long, long Mr. time. Mr. Murphy reminds me of major worries. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Murphy have a tune named Stamina upon the rhythm. Stamina, energy, that they are federality. I feel I wanted the baddest tune upon the rhythm mm -hmm. to this day. It may not big, but yeah. in a my, myself, I feel like I wanted the baddest tune upon it. And the rhythm put out and bust off the place. Sean Paul took the tune for him album and it got Grammy. Mm. So then now you're certified as a producer. Life change. Is it me? That's wild. And this is 2000 and when? 2000, 2001. 2001. It's 2000, 2001. Because mm -hmm. I did the work in 2000. I released the work in 2000, 2001. Come over now with mm -hmm. Shell. Everywhere you hear that rhythm there. Everywhere. And but this is what remember Sean Paul now, is talking Sean Paul signed to VP, you know, man, and Sean Paul over Shell. Sean Paul signed to VP already, you know, but the, the album here with my work on now over Shell. Because mm -hmm. I did have one little whistling bird were telling me. And mm -hmm. VP, VP requested that song. Mm -hmm. And Sean Paul called me and told me, say, yo, tune, you know, wait, 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 you know, just deal with the business. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? Me? So, that's why up to this day, come and know Sean Paul before him boss. Mm -hmm. Up to this day, we never have a bad day. 
Shout out to Aboriginal, where we reach out to me regular. Mm-hmm. So big up Sean Paul, the new album I come out named Life and Living or Live and Living. I said name, Live and Living, right? Mm-hmm. Live and Living, yeah. yeah. The album there. I, I produce a track on the track one on that album. I produce that track too. So Sean Paul keep it real right too. Yeah. Yeah. So we go so bang now and see and that happened. And then my cement now as a producer slash artist or an artist slash producer, anywhere on want to put it. Mm-hmm. Then I, I start doing a lot of productions. I put out the molasses rhythm, you know. I put out enough more rhythm and some of them go on, some of them don't go on. Because you know all music still. Sometimes the people them take it, sometimes them don't take it. But you have to just continue the work. You, you know? How did you yeah. link with how did you link with Bogle? Bogle now is a brother way. It's a dancer where he just rate me. Mm-hmm. I may never know him rate me mm-hmm. till till 1997. We can reverse about reverse back. Because a bogle really tell me if I sing a rude boy a pelper, man and a helper. Okay. Bogle may so rest in peace, Mr. Waki. We go check Bogle on Rose's scan and I said, Delhi ranking. Mm-hmm. Make a song named Rude Boy a pelper, man and a helper, and it got it. And I said, no, say another word, brother, I'm going to deal with it. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling me that tonight, and tonight I make the song. And general degree, see me after I make the song, I said, Deli, mm-hmm. you want bad artist. And I said, why you say that? He said, oh, you do the verse, you do it unorthodox. It's bad. Because all my DJ, man, I tell, be a girls, good girls, we talk to what you don't know, say, man, no deal with Skatel. The man said, the floor is sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Advance those times here. Wow. So okay, so he gave you he told you to do Pelpa in ninety seven. So let's do a song named Pelpa man and Elpan. Mm-hmm. But I shall it. All right. So then how did you guys start to record together? Cause I think you guys have two or three yeah. songs together. Two songs. Mm-hmm. Him okay, so one is you bogle and voicemail. The next one is you bogle voicemail and ding dong. Yeah, ready to party and ready time. Mm-hmm. How did those songs happen? <laughs> Yo, Jalo Star. All right. Bam. Come here for carry 2001, you know. Okay. Can, we, can, can you go on a 2004, you go, you know. Okay. So I carry 2001. All right. So 2001, them time there, me I work with Free Willy, Arthur Wheel. Yes. See, because Shabarang's advice to him there more and more. Mm-hmm. And all of that, and him never know what to do. Mm-hmm. I'm going to tell him what to do and show him what to do. I make him get there. Mm-hmm. So, and I build him soon. I don't have Olympic way. Big up the Olympic way crew because mm-hmm. them people, there are some good people who support music. Um, we're there helping out, doing the, doing the, doing the, 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 the studio work, being behind the boards. Mm-hmm. I do the thing. Mm-hmm. Um, me and Mega Bantan the Panda Kana, 2001. It was 2000. I don't know why I thought it was later on. I thought it was no. more like three, four. No, man, 2001. Listen. While while hanging out at the Free Willy studio, John John come with a rhythm. Mm-hmm. G string rhythm. G string. I'm going to say to Mega Bantan, we always the Panda Kana. Mm-hmm. Like we build a song about Panda Kana. Go over this, go right here, part. Me and my, my, right, my part, yes. Mm-hmm. And we will combine the two part them together. It just connect. Listen, I spoke to Mega last week. Did a podcast with him last week, and I told him Pondicana is one of my favorite songs. Period. I'm talking about period. Just the flow <laughs> on the rhythm. It was so crazy. The double time and on the slow type of rhythm. I said crazy. crazy, uh, crazy. And, and at that, at that time, they know Mega Bantan. Put on the crown for me and say the lyrics are really, really bad. Because mm-hmm. all right, most people don't know. Mm-hmm. Mega Bantana one of the baddest DJ. Mm-hmm. Flow wise, sick, sick, sick. And the thing about it, bro, I'm just one day older than Mega. Okay. <laughs> so we're, we're similar in, 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 in some ways where we're just humble. We're not, we're not trying to force up or push up. Mm-hmm. You know, at that time, we would have the corner and last of a gangster and all of them sang there. 
you know. We did there, I do the thing, and I invited Steely mm -hmm. to Arthur Wheel Studio. I told Steely to come over there and introduce Steely to Arthur Wheel, and the vibe start Bill come here, I said, Arthur Wheel, if you're going to do this thing, you have to have top people and make him feel and the top things. Mm -hmm. And we did it from 2001, 2002. 2003, I step off. Because we did it, I put in the work at the time, but I start get treated less than an artist. So this is the same same scenario you went through two, three times. Yeah, let's, 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 yeah, let's, let's go through. But mm -hmm. I get, because my voice man read them and sometimes I sang them now come out. Every come out will come out late. So like I'm under that same brother, I'm be an engineer than an artist. I'm know right. so I'm an artist first. Mm -hmm. So I step off. Cause one thing with me, me no me no do confrontation and them thing. Man. If you do something more me not like, sometimes I don't even talk about it. But you, you're supposed from this step off, you're supposed to know there's something wrong. Mm -hmm. And that day I, I step off in 2003, and when I step off, I go up a big yard studio. I see Tony Kelly up there. Mm -hmm. See, I go see Tony Kelly up there, brother. And Tony Kelly, I work on a rhythm name, grinding. See? Mm -hmm. And vice me them now, uh, my youth, they used to sing my harmony for me. When I do, when I do my studio work, they may pay them for come sing harmony for me. Them to have, them time there are five of them as far. So original voicemail had five members in it? Yeah. A five of them as far. Them used to come sing harmony for me, for my production them. Like being a man, pan, 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 any series, a, 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 a voice me, I sing the harmony. Girl, you're not sad, and you will never kill no man. A voice me, like you're the harmony. But most of them things, because I always work good with singers. So one time, I go to the and go up big yard now and, and see Tony Kelly, and Tony Kelly, I play the rhythm, and I find my, my idea upon it. I said, same time, voice made a step through the gate. I said, yo, see my group here. Yeah? Yo, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, yo, who now come sing this? Come and tell them what to sing. Because mm -hmm. one thing with me, brother, I now nah took my own on, but I'm a great team player. And if I tell them, say, are you? Are you? I'm going to tell them and sing, she says she wants it harder every day. A man to blaze her fire, not to play. Me book a girl from Samarkand, I be led now the Ramakan. All night long she said, daddy she need another no van. A matter of fact, no other man, not no good no bad than me. See? And the first song that me do with Vice Neal, see? Mm -hmm. Produced by Tony Kelly. And we, do, we do other songs for Tony Kelly and thing, but we are all a vibe. Because mm -hmm. Vice Neal a boss yet, but me tell Craig, say, they're going boss. Because mm -hmm. after a while now it becomes the, the three of them now, Kevin, O'Neill may your soul rest in peace, and Craig. O'Neill mm -hmm. gone a foreign. Craig, my, my whole a vibe with him come and tell him, say, yo, you sound like Lou Kiddy without a lisp. So you gotta work. Mm -hmm. Like your sound. See? So me used to go for Craig every day and go make songs with him. Isn't it? And Danny Champion, me never know so they're not them and Danny Champion link up. Me and Danny Soul rest in peace too. See? So much rest in peace from where DJ. We have, we have the history. See? We're, we're gonna talk about that down in because this is like ten times you said this, but we're gonna talk see, about that. See? See? And, mm -hmm. and 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 Danny Champion, me never know so Danny Champion and them link and Tony Kelly and Danny Champion link. So it was one family link. Mm -hmm. So Danny have him stood up uh, I've did him stood up in the yard. And Tony Kelly met the stream film. And when they, we, we, we're linked with Danny now, I'm going to go up at Danny Yard one day and we did it. I said, we'll make a song. And we'll put Bogley Night. One, one, one Bogley Night. I said, come, Danny. Only you come, we we'll, we'll got roses, go check Bogle. We we'll got roses, go check Bogle. I said, we'll make a song. Mm -hmm. And we'll make the Jiggy Time song. Well, that comes. Is that was his first time recording a song? No, he do a song with, him do a song with Bling, Bling Dog before called Zip It Up. Yes, and then after all of this was when he did All Them There. Yeah, the, after, after we, 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 we record the song then. Because becomes hot now as a star now, not only dancer, he's a star now as sing. Mm -hmm. You see me? And, and, and we did that song with Bogle and it becomes a, a anthem, a 
classic, mm-hmm. you know. You know, may big bogus soul rest in peace, O'Neill, may your soul rest in peace, you know. You do, you do your work before you pass off, mm-hmm. you know, and forever the music shall live. Yeah, and we, we, we have Ding Dang a Dance in a Jiggy Time video. Bada Dance, Bada Dance, Ding Dang a Dance at them time there. Mm-hmm. Ding Dang never know, say, he might be no artist. Ding Dang now start link with we. Mm-hmm. And if Ding Dang for the truth, when they might come to us DJ, I'm show them how to do it. Is it me? And then we go to buff and 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 um and and make me ready to party, son. Mm-hmm. Ladies, if you're ready to party, show you once, let me know. Hey, hey. And if you feel it naughty, just come and girl and rock with the flow. Big. Mm-hmm. And then vice male boss and from Jigita Vice Mail Boss and the song they just come explode and then them step off and go do songs with Dan and all kind of music and do them thing and go do for them thing. So that was the song that boss voicemail. Yeah, ready to party and Jigita. Crazy. And what's even crazier when you look back, you had the dancing king and the dancing prince in a song together, and they weren't really recording artists per se at that time. There, these are. Dancing. I want to. I want to. Let's say the ready to party song. I splice with splice Bogle vice in it from yeah. the previous song when they do. We just put something in there. Cause Bogle is a man in full of style, so we just take that and put it in the Danny Champion, you know, and it just work, and 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 it becomes classic. Mm-hmm. Cause those times, you know, it was hot. Those times there too, pasa pasa. So it's yeah. like that song was either made for pasa pasa, or that song just just took it to another level because pasa pasa was going on at that time there. Yeah, man. And and and, and the thing about it is, you know, the youth them just bust on, them carry on and go away left me. Is it me? And then we go to Rafa and say, life. We do my part already. As me tell you. Me no cuss, me no, me no fight, me no fuss. Me just say, I saw life go, I'm going to go on. And from this or now, me and Nico Bam Bam a link. And Nico Bam Bam tell me about the little youth of a big ship. Okay, so before this, linking with Nico, was Nico still on Stone Love or he had just left Stone Love at this time here? Am I the solo? <clears throat> he's doing solo. Okay, so he's doing his thing, but he's still hot because he has his name from Stone Love. Yeah, Nico Bam Bam. We're hot in the streets too. Okay, so then so, now. So Nico, what... my, Nico and my selector, them time mm-hmm. there. So, so this me... is what Big Ship comes into play now. No, yeah, yeah. Me, I me, I me, me, they are foreign. Mm-hmm. Nico tell me why I go up on the ground, we keep the link. Mm-hmm. Because Nico from far, Nico say, yo, Big Ship have already rhythm up the name Cartoon. Mm hmm. I need to come catch it. So you didn't tell me that. I'm flying on my farm and calling him, yo, there. I mean, them time I live at Belgrade Heights, big shit just there, so I'm going to live up there. So I so stop on my way and go home, round there, and go sing. Mm-hmm. Can Nico tell me if you go sing? Make this little youth here, Stephen, you know, sing, do my video. See, I say, I'm going to sing two songs. Can I sing from already name one, two? I'm going to sing a song named Break Free. Pan. And I start texting to him. And I tell the little youth, I'm a ton star. And Nico Bam Bam now, they know a youth from Portmore. And they're youth, they're musician. Because if you spar with me, you have to do something in the music. You can't spar with me and just spar. You have to do something in the music. Mm-hmm. So I say, yo, you have you to you be producer, you know. See? I say, you have to be producer. So come and go check your bridge and you say music. I will go check the youth over Portmore, drive go over there and the youth make a rhythm, but the rhythm sound good, the pattern sound good, but it never done make yet. Mm-hmm. So we carry it over big ship. And I say, yo, the rhythm have a name Grey Goose, you know. See? And that will tell the you know, see? So I say, yo, we make that little youth, and that little youth are great, we make him overdub on the rhythm, yeah. And we go shell it. And we, and we go to Rafa and him, him overdub on my voice. Mm-hmm. But after I'm done, I'm there on the drum machine, I play. I'm hear some sound, right? I'm not hear yet. I'm say, yo, no, no, no. Yo, play it so. Yo, play it so, Steve. Play it so. Hey, drop this near this. So. No, no, not so. Play this so. 
can, you, can I tell him that's how excited I, I got in the studio? Just mm -hmm. like, oh, may I tell you now? Mm -hmm. And and I'm like, tum, 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 tum. I'm say, yeah, yeah, put, it, yeah, put, put that this up. Put, put, yeah, put that this. Because, you know, I, I'm like, do what I tell him. Mm -hmm. See? And then Chino come through the door now. I start seeing Red Bull and Guinness in my system. Pan it. Because Red Bull and Guinness is not my song. I never write a line in that song. They are Chino song. Okay. See? So Chino come in at the studio. And see? A DJ the tune and I say, yo, that tune is bad. I call it with the Red Bull and Guinness. Because you're off a bus. Because you do a tune with Keep Rich, what a Keep Rich bus. So we have a bus you now. Mm -hmm. So I call a tune a Red Bull and Guinness. And the tune Red Bull and Guinness in my system. But I saw that song come out. I saw the rhythm name come out. And then now, I call Naris man. I see Naris man. I say, Naris, I want you to sing Pandansa. Can you always sing reggae? Yes. Mm -hmm. See? We and Marshall sing pan it. Vibes Cartel sing two song pan it. See? Then now me want Bunty Killer pan it. Mm -hmm. Bunty Killer me did one pan it. And I have the song, make the song for Bunty Killer and him say come over Oakland, come check him out, go over Oakland and I play the rhythm in my truck. And me hear where the mother was sing over one corner. And the melody me hear, and the bell we can't hear sing loud enough because the general me come check. See? I'm saying, who that? I'm saying, me, sir. I'm saying, yo, I'm saying, yo, that body, sing it again. I'm singing it, my ear. I'm saying, yo, you sing, you record this it. I'm saying, no. I'm saying, come check my two is there. Never boss you with a song, yeah. That song, yeah, big. Me no bother who I hear about the killer. Come here when I come for ear. Yeah. And him come to you, say, come sing, and the rest is history. Deal about Crazy. Okay, so at this time here, Movado had other songs out where this was his biggest song in his career at this time here. Now. I, I think that at that time, then the voice is true for this, that's the Eka, real mm -hmm. Makai, but it's a player, mm -hmm. but it never huge yet. You see me? But it's a player, I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. You see? And Red Bull and Guinness come, man. I'm going to tell you this now, I'm going to give you the history. Mm -hmm. When Movado sing that song, if you listen to that song, the chorus is long, but mm -hmm. the chorus repeat. Okay. And then Biggie from Raza and Biggie come at the studio because them time the whole of them are spar now because that's mm -hmm. you can do you see me? And Biggie say, yo, the chorus too long and I say you're crazy. We can't get rid of the sweet part. And the sweet part and the lyrics that and the part that the people them are going to sing back. Mm -hmm. And Futa Hype say, you know, so I chew my talk. You see, because Futa Hype influential in above all the career you now. Yes. You see, and but we say rough now a mix of about four of the song or five of the song and say never test it. A brother from Tivoli Yard named Popcorn, a big man. Mm -hmm. It was Popcorn birthday bash. I think it was the 6th of December 2005. Little Richie a play from Swatch. Zine mm -hmm. in the club asylum it a play. Him a play and I say yo, burn off them song up on a CD, we go test it. I burn off my song, Wayne Marshall song, Naris man, I'm over the song. I, I saw, I, I'm a fight, I don't remember, but I'm going to have some song and go over there. Mm -hmm. I said, I put it on two CDs, so popcorn party, so I go up to the DJ booth because you know the affiliation from Cactus to Asylum, so you know I have the link and go there. I'm going to carry, I'm a carry the thing, go get, go get liquor rich, and I'm going to test that rhythm for me, you know. Because I read him here. No, before we even reach that, I link Vegas. Yeah. I'm a link Anthony D. I'm a tell Vegas and Anthony D. Say, yo, I have a rhythm. We're going to come change dance hall. It's going to come change dance hall. I'm a tell Vegas. I'm a tell Anthony D. Vegas will tell you the history. We're going to never sing on it. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to say, bam. I'm going to test the rhythm now after we mix up them children down there. They really play for the first time and mash up the place. <laughs> Crazy. Mash up. I can remember, I tell you, I say, I test me, I go test it. Mm -hmm. Test me, I go test it. Because I don't know. Me know, me know when I myself say I go change the dance, but I never know so quick. Mm -hmm. So when I carry them, I give Richie, Richie play them, and Lick Richie play them, and boss up the place. 
But go back to Richie and say, give me about the CD them, because I test me. Richie said, you're mad. You can't get back them CD here daily. You see, you just say, I want gift this year, bring come give me. Me, I go bust that with him there. Them tell the Richie, them a play a pasa pasa. Remember, I said, Wednesday, pasa pasa, tear up with the rhythm. Me, I forget the rhythm out fast. So, but I did have, I did have a sizzle upon another rhythm. Me no business out with them. Can you know, say, come by Red Bull and Guinness. I had it on another rhythm. I'm going to put it over upon the rhythm there. Okay. And, and turbulence. And me did have a Vegas and another rhythm. Me care Vegas pan the rhythm to because him spirit did already tell me same for the panic. Got it. And, 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 and I'm going to put RDX pan it. I'm going to have 21 pan it. And me did have a new artist, some new artist from America. In Atlanta, call American Yards, but put them on it too. Because you know, Red Bull and Guinness with him, a 40 song come out on it. I thought, in my mind, I thought it was 20, because I knew it was a lot, but I didn't realize nah, it was 40 song. 20, put out, because I me, me make history too, because mm-hmm. I'm the only man put out the same rhythm with two different companies. Because mm-hmm. Green City put out 20, yeah. and VP put out 20. <laughs> yeah. That's how hot the rhythm was. And then move out the song, go kick off in the billboard chart with my song on the flip side and move out the song, Red Bull and Guinness. So, so comes, we go so go over in the billboard too. That's wild right there. Just a thought, because I remember that rhythm was so different at that time. There, nothing sounded like that. I know, that I know my left out something in a 2003 too. Mm-hmm. I know Rick Rocker though. It wasn't me with Shaggy. Yeah. And me first him do music with him. Me first him do a song with him. Hmm. What a girl can whine, you uh, 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 uh. What a girl can whine. Hey, oh. At, a, a Rick Rocker sing, you know. It? Produced by Richie D. Big up Richie D music. Hmm. So, I want to things me, 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 me really put in and put in. But you may not force and tell everybody, say, I'm need to do it. Mm-hmm. Them, them, them go on like them not see me or go on like them don't know. But them know. Them all the go on like them don't know. Yeah. So that's easy. So this is Red Bull and Guinness come out and Steve the genius boss Chi, you know, Naris man me shot in a dance hall style. You know? We didn't take over the whole place. Red Bull and Guinness start sell down everywhere in the world. Everybody had drink Red Bull and Guinness. Mm-hmm. Everybody. We go all to England all the time and a man said, Delia make champion stop selling a dance star. <laughs> 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 you see me? Because of the Red Bull and Guinness. And then what did you guys, what other productions did you guys start working on next? Because that was a monster right there. Yeah, then we go up on the ghetto, we produce, make the ghetto, ghetto whiskey. Mm-hmm. And the cartel and Movado of the song, Sunrise. On the ghetto whiskey? Yeah. Because, trust me, most people would have feel like my tech side with Vibes Cartel when he might even Movado have them beef and go on, but... Vice Cartel is a hard working artist mm-hmm. and is a man where if you believe in you, it might work. Mm-hmm. See? And Vibes Cartel always record two songs for my rhythm them. Always. You know? And in Vice wanted Movado, Sunrise, and him do another tune for the girls and pan it. Mm-hmm. You know? Same thing him do pan the Red Bull and get his rhythm. This bad man they get gunshot and yet do a tune for the girls and pan it. Mm-hmm. You know? Um, Ghetto Whiskey came out. I do wanna we ain't wonder also on it because we ain't wonder did, did come out on the, the second batch of the Red Bull and Guineas. Mm-hmm. You know? And um, we ain't wonder on it. TOK was on it myself and it collaboration with Chino and one by myself. And a, a Norris Man was on it too mm-hmm. because I, tried, I, I was trying to work back with the same team that I did the Red Bull and Guineas with, you know. Wayne Marshall was on it and things. So, yo, know, they, they, they come and do the great vibe. Mm-hmm. You know, Steve and the genius boss, China boss, big ship boss back. Or I should I should even say boss back because Freddie did already boss it. Big mm-hmm. ship start sailing. Mm-hmm. You know, big up Freddie McGregor because you, 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 you did your work and you create the, the atmosphere for us to could go around there and, and, and make music. Mm-hmm. You know, so big up Freddie McGregor, the captain, anyway, the big up Barry Clark and the whole big ship family, you know? Big there. When did things start to fall apart over at Big Ship? Because I know you guys were cool at one time, but then at one point, <laughs> there was even a song that Tino hey, made for you, too. 
Yeah, me never hear it. But what me say is, um, I said to myself one of the times, I come and let me start. Every time you go somewhere, as it start blossom, a bad vibe, I me mean, wonder if me, I me had a problem. Mm-hmm. So, so, so my baby mother at the time, my son and my daughter, mother at the time, I said to her, I said, yo, come here, because me had the bad one, you know. Mm-hmm. But you say you can't be the bad one, and every time you leave somewhere, it, it, it flap out, and w- when you go somewhere else, it blossom. I know you are the problem. Mm-hmm. You know, she build back my confidence. Because I really was down, because I, 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 I feel like me and Big Ship family did ever just take on life and make the best of everything. Mm-hmm. You know, and it never, it never lasts. But I just saw life, I just saw it for God, and then a youth named Preke did make me know Jada. Yes. Because Mr. Shoya said, life is a really, yeah? and sometimes you must not even, and that, not, matter of fact, not even sometimes, you must not question life. See? Because someone is always there or something is always there to continue. So after we go to Obama, you know, and leave big shit, we go to Obama and go, Jada. Mm-hmm. Some people live in us as cartel tune and say, I wear them feel like the skin too tough to bleed. Some people know say me produce that. That's your song, boss. <laughs> Some people don't know say me produce that. That are the first big rhythm where Chimney and me work with. I put a me produce it. That rhythm the name Shota. Mother mm-hmm. was on it too. Elephant was on it also. Myself was on it. Grandma was on it too. And then we we'll make the gangster prayer with him. See, and at the same time, me, 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 help Jordan them to become who they are this day because Jordan will tell you, Chibney Records, and me name them Chibney Records. Mm-hmm. And me give them the name there, Chibney Records. That's even sometimes I, I reach out to Jordan the other day and say, yo, brother, send a rhythm come, the man. More mm-hmm. advice, but I read him, man, and you put it out. And I'm not saying I read him come, but I don't feel no way because I'm doing my stuff and I'm doing great. But sometimes we have to remind the youth, them say, remember where you come from. Mm-hmm. Because right now, I know say, anywhere, Mrs. Stephen, me and Steve now go all right, come here, go hold him and hold him a vibe and hold a vibe with him and say, yo, brother. Them days are them days, you know, we are big people now, we understand life. Maybe the ego, the chipping, and it, it cause a, a bad vibe, but we never kill each other. We never cause, so we're good. You know? Because you have to do big people thing when you turn big people. Mm-hmm. You know? And we care Jordan, we care Cartel around Jordan, they mark them around Jordan. Me name Chibney Records, Chibney Records. Me name it. Me give them them name. DJ Smurf can second you to it and tell us you're not lying there, they tell. Jordan will tell us you're not lying there, they tell. Izzy will tell us you're not lying there, they tell. You see me? Your contribution to the business is so massive, but it's like, again, I guess because you really stick to yourself, a lot of people don't really, they didn't get to put the pieces of the puzzle together to really realize, hey, hey, this is Delhi doing a lot of this stuff back here, you know, boss. Uh, not, but most people know, but you see, as I tell you, to me, it's not one of the youth that will push up myself in the, in the limelight and say, me do this, me do this, me do this. Them just go on like them don't know about them, no. Mm-hmm. But Mr. Vegas tell me, say, and RDX youth, Renegade tell me, say, Delhi, the youth, them were 20 now, mm-hmm. them don't know some of the things that you do. So you have to do interview and talk it out, make them know. Make them put respect by your name. We know. Mm-hmm. But what about the new youth, them, them for know? Because look on it now. 2017, my record on a popcorn biggest show them. Crazy. Let's get into that there. That's a cotton swab rhythm. So while we, while we jump from all of that, go to 2020. No, uh, we're going to think there. We're going to get back there. But since you brought it up, let's talk about that popcorn situation there. How did that even come up in the first place? Yeah, I'm going to tell you, since popcorn, mm-hmm. As as he put up the song, put up a picture with him on Beres the other day, I'm going to tag underneath it, comment underneath it and say, great vibe, mm-hmm. legends, 
Because popcorn is a young legend. For sure. The first time I hear popcorn, I know that you have greatness about him. My wife can give an account for that. Because when I hear him, I tell her say I'm a big. But popcorn, I know say me say that before me even meet him. Mm-hmm. Because I never know a foreign me live when popcorn are at the place. So I never know him, I never meet him, I never see him, I'm see him on TV or YouTube. Mm-hmm. See him, but my ear. I even when I do the song game, girl them top, girl them pop, eh, them not the fool, them jump. One does jump on both are but for me ear the song there, I say, yo, you're the next big one, yeah. Because mm-hmm. he's so melodious and his voice different. Mm-hmm. So when Cotton Swab come, I hear him pan it. And I reach out. Mm-hmm. And I reach out. He did, he did one of my best production. He did one of the best songs I've produced. Crazy. Family, that song going to live on forever. So I have to take off my hats to Mr. Sutherland, Popcorn, Big Up Yourself, Andre. Mm-hmm. Anyway, you the youth, because you will do now. He bring my name forward with the youths. For sure. Because every time now people hear them say, yo, Adele Ranks produce it, so the youths them know. So it's always good to reach out. Mm-hmm. I remember when I reach out to Popcorn, he my mother of them clash and, you know, some people never I see him in other light there. But me, you know, says a great artist that from me hearing from the first time I know. Mm. And I, I'm, I'm happy that he took the rhythm and record a good song on it. Even if we don't do no more songs together, you know, me, I have to give thanks for that because he made the platform for me, for the youth them. Mm-hmm. Version, I'm a family. See? Because if you notice from 2006, 2005, 2006, I come up. My version for everyone I'm reading. Even I have an album called Sweet Reggae. Before version bust, me have a song with version pan it. A song called Vibrate. Mm-hmm. Because I can hear the talent. You know, and the, the family rhythm, the cotton swab rhythm, me now go take the credit. We have to give credit to a youth named Kills to one. Them time them live in New York City because a Kills to one make that rhythm there. And then me and my manager take the rhythm and me do the production. Crazy. That one there, big, big, big family. It, to this day, it's still a big song. From it came out to this day. Yeah, you man. played anywhere. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not going to take all credits because we have to give credits to where credits is due. Mm-hmm. We have to big up Red Boom. Red Boom, super mix Red Boom from Friends for Real Family. Mm-hmm. We have to big up Red Boom because our Red Boom did the mixing on it. You know, I, I went there. I went there and I, and I had my um, percent of, of, in, of experience to the mixing, but Red Boom do it. Mm-hmm. So we have to give you them, them props. Big, 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 big cotton swab. All right. Yeah, we jumped forward, but I want to go back a bit. Everything is going on good. 2005, you're, you're doing your thing and everything. When did you decide to move to the States? All right, my girlfriend at the time now, she did have a college, mm-hmm. which she, she's my wife now. Mm-hmm. But she was going to college and she had a grad school. And then, because I have my work permit, so I could have come here, come stay as long as I want and go back and take. But I decided to move to the States from about 2005. But I really come living in the States the ending of 2009, I got to 2010. Because mm-hmm. my, my, my girlfriend at the time, she got pregnant. And she said, me, me they have four youth already. And she said, she now be another baby mother. She have to be wife. Mm-hmm. So I just say, all right. Mm-hmm. Do it. But before me do it, I tell all of my baby mother, them say, I don't want them feel like them less than her. But at the time when me and them are the waiting, me never they saw. Mm-hmm. And and them respect that. You know, and then but this because one of the time nobody knows say America believe because they are Jamaica almost as a quint. 
you know, but you know, pandemic come make everybody know where everybody business. <laughs> 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 You're right, because how easy or how difficult is it as an artist slash producer to do your work, especially in a 2010, those times there, in dance hall? Because, you know, dance hall is a thing they want you on the ground, always on the ground in Jamaica. So how difficult or how easy was it for you to continue doing it? It never hard for me because I never come off far and I run off. Mm -hmm. Some could have traveled. Mm -hmm. So I'm a green card, I'm going move back and forth, you know. Sometimes they stop me and have my long ass moment, travel so often outside of the country. <laughs> but they just know what I do. And mm -hmm. I just do my thing and till I become citizen and I just do my thing same way and send for my youth them and my youth them there. Mm -hmm. You see me? So I just life. Yeah. So it, it wasn't difficult for me because music was made for me. Mm -hmm. It was made for me, believe me, because I even pinch myself sometimes to know, say, a youth who come from the late 80s till now, I still carry up shoulder with the younger youth them. I must have do something good. Throughout all the tribulations them, I got you, I'm there. I don't look old, I don't look mash up, I don't pop down, see, I'm live with my family, I'm all right, see, I'm happy. You know, scalp pandemic come and some people not happy, them sad, I'm there. You understand? So, the, the, the most I preserve me to the music because I always stretching out a helping hand. Because as I talk about stretching out a helping hand, I have some new artists that come to you know. Okay. Come, we have new rhythm that come out soon, you know. Very, very. All right, listen to this. I have rhythm where I come, bunks, dance all, make dance all feel like dance all again. Mm -hmm. I have the new artist them for them. I have a new artist named Lagan. I have him named Lagan Unknown. I do a song named Narbit. I read him named Narbit. Good. I have, have a new artist called D Code. She have a song out named called Dreams on the Hill right now. She have a song named Dreams on the Hill. I can check it out. Mm -hmm. I have a new artist called Shemika. A tree that my name already, but one read him welcome. Spaga Ben's new artist, Amalak. I have him on it too. Mm -hmm. May have noxious on it. See? I may have a youth named Mad One on it. Also, Mr. Vegas, Assassin, myself, um, Virgin, the Marco. Murder. Good music, good vibe. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's, it's not in the lyric alone, it's also in the beat. And sure. we, we make happy music. So, dance all. Right back at you. Pure music. Remember, let me tell you. The trick with even, even music. Oh, the... I'm, I'm not, I, I, and I must not forget. Mm -hmm. Determine. The Kete Jong man is okay. back. He's wow. back. He's back. I can't believe you found Determine, boss. Determine record in this studio with me the right or so. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Listen. When it comes to trap dance hall, what they're calling it right now. I know trap dance hall. Okay, but well, listen, this is what I'm going to tell you. It's almost like you were the predecessor mm -hmm. to all of this. Because remember, when the Red Bull and Guinness and all those came out, they were so different, so fast, so hip hop -y type oriented. So then yeah, now, yeah. that's when all of this started to right now. So then you hear people complaining, but this wasn't something that happened overnight. Nah, all right, that's why for me, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell the people, I'm saying music or music. Mm -hmm. I remember maybe 80s DJs them when it come to 90s, because most of the 80s DJ them different. I mean, I miss nobody. Mm -hmm. Them never really I do it like the 90s DJ. Mm -hmm. And it's different to them. Some of them not understand it. Some of them get feared out. Mm -hmm. And the 90s come. Now, the youth them find a new thing. If you're not evolved with the time, you're going to get left behind. Don't curse because the youth can't believe my brother. Mm -hmm. The youth them are do the thing. And the youth them are make millions a day. Mm -hmm. Oh, you are going to tell me so if you stop doing me, I do when my thing I work. Work with the youths. Mm -hmm. Work with the music because music is music. See there? Afrobeat never debuted in the 90s. Mm -hmm. It come. 
And I want to tell you, say, it, it do very good too. Because them sales good, the stats good, them streaming good. So we have to support our artists them and support what they do. And don't go on like you want to push them down and talk about you, you not do the right thing. Or oh, if you not do the right thing and pop can sing family, we have that kind of hip hop kind of kind of thing there and it work. Mm-hmm. See, pop can and bury someone have a song so come out. Pop can and beanie have a song. See, version just put out an album with, 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 with fanatics them. So we have to work with the youth, them see coffee there, coffee thing them and a straight dance hall. Mm-hmm. Them have a little something about it. Mm-hmm. And coffee get the Grammy. So Leela Ikea there and Dexter Dubs are doing thing over there. So you understand? So if we practice that thing and come together under this umbrella here over there and support our thing, that's only we're gonna we're gonna be a dominant force in the world of music. Stop fighting against one another. So Sean Paula do something good there. The album of Sean Paula put out is full of collaboration because the man has a combination over clash. Mm-hmm. Unity. So some man say it and not do it. That's why with music stagnant. Because too much man at all, but me hold a can over here, so me hold a can over here. So them boys over this and this and that and that, I mean, I do this. No. Mm-hmm. Time for come together and make with music. Speak. Because we make the best music. Reggae. Not care what kind of chop you don't want to call it or black or whatever. Mm-hmm. A reggae. Because a reggae vice upon it. Mm-hmm. And it come from the reggae field, it come from reggae yard, Jamaica. Support it. Support the youths, them man. Move with the time. This is just where the music's at right now. You Move said something time. about collaborations. When it comes to collaborations, I feel you're almost <laughs> I can't think of another artist that has collaborated with so many people more than you have. You have songs with from Barris Hammond right back to Mega Bantan to Elephant Man to Freddie McGregor, T. Ninja T. Why is that? Why do you collaborate with so many people? Brother, I tell you the truth of God love. Mm-hmm. Them not planning on. Mm-hmm. And music, and music. And I, and I will tell you something about collaboration where most people don't know. Mm-hmm. When they do collaborations, is two different fans come together on one record. So it always have a good. Mm-hmm. One of Popcorn biggest show is a collaboration with, with, with Vibes Cartel called Clocks. Mm-hmm. You see me? One of Snow's biggest song is a collaboration with Buju Bantan, Beanie Man, Louis Culture, um, Knox, um, Terra Fabulous. Nadine anything Sutherland. for you, Nadine, Nadine Sutherland, anything for you. One of one of Terra Fabulous biggest song is called Action with Nadine Sutherland. Mm-hmm. You know? So the collaborations them, it, 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 it proved that you don't have to be selfish. You can share and still lock it in at the square. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 I don't free it for the cat because my album that I because I never tell you about my album yet. Come I have an album where I just chronic chronic law me a wait for the mm-hmm. theme part on the tune. Okay. Because I have a collaboration album I come also, and we have a young artist and named artist on it. And it's called Big Time. Look out for that. A 14 tracks are ready on it, and believe me, a 14 solid something. Mm-hmm. Take over world business. I remember I'm doing it by myself. I don't have no company that defend me. I do it all by myself, a pure music productions. But that's the best way to go right now, especially with the internet and distribution stuff. Like. But I've been I've been doing it forever, so me not stop. Because mm-hmm. I I've never have a company where say pick up the lyrics and say yo me I do this. I mean all this I do my thing them. Mm-hmm. Even from CD times, I do my thing them. Press up my CD them and sell them myself. Mm-hmm. You know it, it is a hard work, but it's also a work a work with your knowledge, mm-hmm. make you know more about the music. Yeah, you're talking That's about. What, I know for a fact that your record label, um, Pure Music, you were doing your own distribution on 45s and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You go back, you look, you see your email on there, you see your yeah. phone number distributed yeah, yeah. by Pure so, Music. So that, that's how that's I have my manager. No, mm-hmm. my manager, that's my manager. No. Mm-hmm. It's my label. Let me go to Vermont, mm-hmm. Burlington, in a Vermont, upstate, cool place. 
Because mm-hmm. my, my production was doing so well there, and Deli Ranks was doing so well there. They reach out, and every November, me used to go there go sing. Every November. And that's where I met David Smiley. So big up David Smiley. And from, from that till about, from about over 20 years. Yeah. Over 20 years of friendship. And trust me, it's still banging right now. We're, we, a matter of fact, we're not bridging again. We're a family. Because my house is his house and his house is my house. Mm-hmm. You know? So that's how we deal with life. We deal with life the right way. You know, so I don't really watch the bagger hype or the bagger this or the bagger that. You know, but just do what I'm supposed to do and do it good. Mm-hmm. I'm take care of my family. I'm going to take care of the young artists. I'm going to help all of them. But who fall in my trap, I'm going to do my best to get them at. All right. We covered a lot of stuff. And again, I know there's still a lot of things we didn't cover, but we covered a lot of major stuff. One thing we didn't get to yet was your sound. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ha! All right. The ranks machine. How yeah. did you even come up with that? And how long? I know in my mind, I know you've had that sound for a minimum of 10 to 11 years. That I know for sure. Now, it, it, my, my work on it over, over 17 years. You see? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 17, how did you come up with that? Because, you know, all right. I used to play music mm-hmm. when I used to live in, uh, in Mountain View. I used to play a song called Sparkling Star, our bar. Snatch up with it, a big man named Snatch up a mountain view right there. So, I used to play a sparkling star sound. So, I me, me, me know a little thing about the selecting thing. And after me, me, me become Delhi Ranks, I always want to have sound, you know. I always want to have it. But two things and time change. You know, the youth, them go them laptop thing and thing. Because I've been cutting dub from CD coming in. Okay. You see me? And me have me have some classic dubs, classic dubs. Come, me have over four hundred dub plate in a in a in a thing, you know. And my son now, I'm mean, coming son really. But glad, to say, but this ability, I mean, never know. Say my son would have become a, a big DJ. Come, my son, I play good music. DJ pop same name, see? Mm-hmm. So, but care when when I file for my son for come America, come live with me, see? Me have to test him. So I put him in a vice boot and say, "Let me hear your son." Mm-hmm. Sing some song, just sing what you know. And we test him, he said, No, you're, you're, not, you're not artist, you're not artist, you're not artist. He <laughs> said, No, you're not artist. You know? Yeah. No, can, can we be real? I said, No, mm-hmm. you're not artist. Mm-hmm. What, what are you like? I mean, I'm saying, like, I'm like, play. Because mm-hmm. see, one night time when we go to Jamaica, I'm the team I play around the, ver- what name? the, the one virtual DJ. Uh, virtual DJ. Yeah. Virtual DJ. I see him, I do, my step brother at the time. You know, and Imagine someone say, yo, a music you have to go play then. Mm-hmm. So I do a radio show every week. About me, my mother play three hours. Me incorporate him in the radio show and make him play half. And me play half. Till sometimes I leave and make him play the whole three hours. Isn't it? And believe me, I'm in, I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. And he might one of the DJ them way. The girls them love boy. He might, he might, he might do him thing and people respect him and play music because he can... Spin him. He may not be a, a great MC yet, but okay. he's getting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had that song 17 years. He had it. Have you ever clashed with that song, or that was more something your baby that you're building in the background until I, you're really ready to go? Brother, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not in a clash business, man. I just want to play music for people have fun. Mm-hmm. It's like if all a sound clash are going and they want an early warm sound. And because mm-hmm. I, I will come and play if they invite me and pay the price for mm-hmm. me to because I can come and play and entertain because I know how to play music. But me do this, me, me do this, I'm glad to my son take it up. I'm a son something now. Mm-hmm. But sometimes like for the radio, I do it. Mm-hmm. And but me have a daughter now, she named Bianca. Mm-hmm. She can sing, but she don't like it. <laughs> but she can sing. Make two little record with her already, I think. But two she our college now I do our, our educational stuff. Me now force it upon her. You understand? So when she done, if we she feel like she wants to sing a one song or a two song, mm-hmm. the playground they are fair. So she them can play and I have two younger daughters who, who read music. Them can play music, them read it. Okay. See and my other daughter, she she there too, but she not show me no sign like she wanna do it yet. But you know it go. One will influence one to do it, cause if them if they are, me make this and I me me make it for because I'm almost fifty, 
So, I feel them time. I'm mean, not compete with for them time, but just make it for make sure that them have it. So them for just make good use of it and just do the right thing. Good. You're you're right. Spoke about so many RIPs and all of this stuff. We said it about 10 times when you're on this podcast. <sighs> Boy, I mean, I tell you. Why do you think you're like the chosen one? You're still here. You've seen so much come, so much go, whether it's be death or hype and drop off or we're nobody and become somebody's. Why do you think that you're the chosen one to still be here and continue to do your thing after all this time? Because we put the most side in front of me, you know. Mm -hmm. Not saying that the rest of them are pass and gone, never do it. You know, everything we do, I never do it for the show. Mm -hmm. I never do it for return. I just do it. If returns come, it come. If it don't come, I'm glad somebody do it. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, Unfortunately, we lose some of the, 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 the ones that we share the space with. Mm -hmm. But if just say a year time, a year time, can't go on it. You know, I pray every day, I give thanks every day. I even before me eat my food, my bless it because while I'm eating, I know so some people now have nothing to eat. Every morning when I rise up, I give thanks for the rising, you know, because while I rise up, some people never make it. Before I retire at night, I also give thanks. Because before me retire, or while I'm retired, some people not get for even get the time for retire. So maybe I'm the chosen one because the most I know that I'm here, I'm mean, not fake it. May I do it real? May I do it for real? Mm -hmm. In a real life, as a virgin would I say. Mm -hmm. You know, so you know, it's it's unfortunate and it's also fortunate at the time that I can speak about legends that I have rubbed shoulder with that's that's no longer here, you know. I have done collaboration with Jimmy Riley also, you know, and Jimmy Riley is a man where him call me UT, you know, your body no UT, you know. That man they give me give me give me great vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I, I I've sat in the same space with Bonnie Bonnie Wheeler, me so rest in peace, Bonnie Wheeler, you know. Mm -hmm. And the man they give me good vibe. I, I've got the chance to do a collaboration with Bonnie Rocks from the third world, you know. And and, and I've got respect from all these people. I've got to sit down or stand up and talk to you right before him pass off. And I, I got good compliments from these people. So for me, I will forever stay humble and just do what I come here for do. Mm -hmm. I'm not overstep my bounty. I'm a girl with my granny and granny say, if you come here for drink me, no bother call, no call. So I just that me I do. Mm -hmm. Great answer, great answer. Couldn't ask for anything more. I got two last questions before I get you out of here, okay? You've done so much artists. You've done so much production. When do you choose, okay, now is Delhi's hat, where I'm the artist, or Delhi, the producer. When do you choose what to do what? And how do you make that difference? I mean, it me, I do. As I tell us, I put the father in front of me, mm -hmm. the almighty. Supreme beam, but put the most in front of me. So, whatever reward the father said, if I choose at the time, I do me do. And I, I don't compete with myself. You know, if I'm doing productions, I may be on the beat, but if a muscle of the art song I go on, I go promote muscle song, not because it's, it's not a Delhi Ranks, but it's a Delhi Ranks production. And, and the thing about it, too, I don't only promote my productions. If me hear good music, me promote it. Mm -hmm. Because if I sang the good, my music the good, which is reggae. You understand? So I I, I don't put on a hat and say, Deli Rang today, I'm not bad mind nobody. If a juggling come, I'm a dip on it, and a sick song dip on the rhythm, don't think so I'm going to speak out my song and send it alone to give people. I send the juggling. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes I need the juggling to even make my song great. You understand that a hundred percent, and that's what a lot of people don't understand. It's if there's more of us working on the same project, hopefully the project is going to go better. Hey, Even brother, if you go ahead, brother. My better list. We have some artists in other music business who I love, you know, mm -hmm. because even when people now look over my way, them always make me know. Say, yo, Deli, you are one of the greatest. You are one of the greatest. You like Mr. Vegas version. Demarco, mm -hmm. the man that make me know 
singing melody, tell me the other day, the man called me for, for about an hour and tell me, say, Deli, whatever you're doing, don't stop because me and watch your family are youth. Luki D. Zane, that is cool. I may have some brethren who are selected to where, where rate me like a youth named Flex the Architect in a New York. Negus British, you have a youth named Super Blocks. You have a brother named Talman from the unit. Bugle, you say I'll bugle. Mm -hmm. The man, they believe in me. See, I mean, no other artists do the same, but true, maybe we don't get to correspond like that, you know, get an opportunity to tell me. But I respect every artist because the whole of we are co workers. I'm supposed to help you, and you supposed to help me. Only makes sense. You That's know where I mean? it's supposed to go. Last one I have here for you. We talked about this crazy career from in the 80s. Right now it's 2021. <laughs> what would you say would have been the highest point in your career? And when would you say would have been the lowest point in your career thus far? Man, I'm not high point and a low point, like if I want to say it like that. Because I've been this artist that I do my thing. But mm -hmm. like 1993, when we fight, if you play one more, you're so pussy. Mm -hmm. That was an exciting, exciting part about mm -hmm. my life because at the first we all get success mm -hmm. because I, I, I become successful right there mm -hmm. because we can tell you about my first million dollar, 1993. Mm -hmm. You understand what I say? From those times. Yeah, so that, that if, if, if you want to differentiate the high point and the low point, mm -hmm. I say 1993, I'm the highest point because we we'll find the thing where people are for finding. All right, the lowest point is when my virgin boot to Bantan, them they take him off of the street because at that time they are we are tour together, we are, we are make music together, we are do everything. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I, I, it, 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 that, it, the vibe and everything because at that time, you know, Bucho Bantan, I'm a general, I'm here say, yo, here what? We just we we, we have been supporting act for him. So if you support on our part at the time, mm -hmm. even without record, when we go up on the road, we know we're gonna get the thing for start out. You understand? And when them take away that income from you, you know it's gonna be a lower point, it becomes a, a, a some people that call it a struggle. That's that's crazy just to even know that you got through all of that and that was a 10 year point and you still found your way through all of that, you were still able to navigate as an artist through all of that. Yeah, man. Because remember, I'm going to tell you this, you know. Mm -hmm. there, 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 there are great ones, and there are greater ones, and even when they get for big up Bojo Bantan, or more and big him up, because I mentioned it, some of my co-worker them name, and I never mentioned some other's name, like even Bojo Bantan, mm -hmm. you know, back in my younger days, I'm a career with him around the place, and him tell me, say, yo, Start out your publishing, make sure you start setting things good. Yeah. You know, these are some of the things them where if you are teaching younger youths, them how them for do them thing called Bojo, they tell me that. So, me love Bojo Bantan from their youth, hmm. Zane, and me still have that love them, I grow with it. Anthony Malvo, Zane, Anthony Malvo went time with their studio and them never want to record me. And Anthony Malvo got cussed for me and they have to record me. <laughs> you know, mm. rounded, they have to big up rounded. See, you know, there's a man who used to give me enough $20 and $50 and buy me enough food when I did an studio and drop me home enough time and pick me up from the yard enough time and came up on the road. See, I have to big up Power Man too because Power Man used to do the same thing. See, that is cool. You see me? I don't want to leave out nobody because you are going. The struggle is real, brother. Of course it is. And the struggle was real until the Almighty God, Almighty God opened a road for me I may walk on it, I may never walk on it fast, but take my time. Because enough people get the opportunity to walk on the road and then go drive fast and get a ticket. You don't want that to be you. No, I take my time. When them, when them all try to walk fast and do them thing, I crawl. I crawl like a snake or an ants and I do my thing. Because I crawl like a lizard on a limb and take my time. Because you are going. If you can reach a finish line like the turkle, you mm -hmm. still reach the finish line. And that's what it comes down to, is reaching the finish line. Yeah, Get to the cause, finish line. Because trust me, even though them now say it, mm -hmm. remember, you know, the history of music, Delirance, Delirance. But I just want them to know, no matter wait till me dead, 
when I put up RIP and he, he was great and he, he, he did this and he did that and Jano a good youth. Just <laughs> give me it. Now, but I wait till that because when you want to start with that, me never can feel good about myself in that. Mm -hmm. I big up all of the girls that love me from there, little boy till now and still love me and still support me. I big up all of the road boy them and the selector them and the real DJs them who rate me and still support me like DJ Smurf, Zane IRFM, Big A, get well soon, my brother. Um, 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 CJ Liquid, Try McLean, mm -hmm. Zane, Big John New Thousand. See, I don't remember everybody name because I don't know me on the spot, but everybody who played that major part in my career, you know what I say, I don't forget. Mm -hmm. I, I only know how me stay. Mm -hmm. See, the newest youth on board with the on top of my head right now is a youth named Sun Jack Fireway. He have a new rhythm out called Capture Land. And seen it. I, I, I nurture him to stardom right now. Mm -hmm. I nurture him because him have that something there. See, Big up my artist Lagan, big up my artist Decode, big up my artist Mad One, big up my artist Naxxism. Mm -hmm. See? I'm a young artist, them there, where may I try to make sure that them, them reach. Mm -hmm. You see me? And everybody who support dance hall and reggae music, not only Delhi Ranks music, because if you support dance hall and you support reggae music, you support Delhi Ranks. Just big up yourself and don't stop, because I'm doing it and I'm going to make it. To the top where you want me for there. I remember when my daddy never bring a whole heap of you through the gate with me. I want me to say you, I mean man, I mean mm -hmm. female and male. Mm -hmm. You understand? Excellent way to end this conversation. If they want to check out anything you have coming up, either you as an artist <laughs> or production wise, where can they check you out on social media? Well, if you go follow me on Instagram till I get the blue tick. Because mm -hmm. some people have the blue tick. It's like a new tick. Um, at Delhi Ranks Music, it's mm -hmm. at D E L L Y R A N X M U S I C mm -hmm. Music, Delhi Ranks Music. Just go follow me and, mm -hmm. uh, and make the following thing go. I want to reach all a million followers now because I've done the work to have them kind of followers there. Mm -hmm. See, and Facebook Delhi Ranks, D E L L Y R A N X. You know, my name Delhi Ranks first up on Facebook too, but you know that, that that's more. Sorry, that's more like a family thing, but sometimes the Delhi Ranks get to over there too. Mm -hmm. See, on Twitter, Delhi Ranks, them call a thing named Linked at Delhi Ranks, Snapchat, Delhi Ranks, same way, TikTok, Delhi to Ranks, Delhi to the Ranks, mm -hmm. you know? So, me, 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 me up there with the time, I move with the time, I evolve with the time. So, any new thing forward, call one next thing named Telegram, me depend it too, you know? Telegram. Mm -hmm. You know, so we 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 are moving the time because me now move with the crowd, me now move left the crowd. You understand? All right. Before I get you out of here, what I'm going to ask you for is a old school medley. That's what I'm asking you for. An old school medley freestyle, right here. Before we go. All right. Let's start it like this. If you play a one more to the soft pussy, if you play a one more to the fuck body, if you play a inch and you suck up the pussy, why take up the mic now? All right then. Marrow I go fly, blood I go run. What them I go do now with the general? Come, Marrow I go fly, blood I go run. What them I go do? All right, for the gallon deliverance. It's like. Some girl have a rough friend show, while some are either take them friend man for show. I dig up them chest and I go on like a dam. See it and now, girl, you have a bash up them plan. So sing along, ball it out. I got no more than you. Kick out the foot because you have no mind, yo. Jump around because you full up of the glow. For the girls, for the girls, for the girls. Girl, me love your passion, looks. The passion where you are, the passion where you cook. With your passion, your style, your passion flex. The passion where you are, the passion where you dress. With your passion profile. Ati ati gal in a yo da na current set and your Chris Nike your shoes jump and show up because you know you no punk up. All right, she no want no sentinel on her property. She want the freedom to do what she likes. I know my Michelle, you have your privacy. Yeah. Fill it in the DJ tonight. Who boy are your belper? Man, I no helper. All who is in school, man from Spangla. DJ bad boy school from Rima. Pelpa, not my friend Muscle, him a utter. Who boy are your belper? Man, I no helper. All English school, man from Canada. Japan, who boy school from America. I think of that. And this. 
When if them this me, me I go this step back. Cause them now put on me pot. I'm a fake, but more than me, shot me now. Take back me chat. You more than watch them, more than chat. You see the DJ getting that. And if them try to stop me, it's a go cause a attack club. Mad. <laughs> 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 Listen to me. I, I couldn't ask for anything more because that was crazy. And again, the energy, it's like, yeah, we're talking here. Yeah, we're having a good conversation. Okay, can I get a medley? And the monster came out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, 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 and that's all 90s. Mm -hmm. That's Delhi. all 90s. It's been a great conversation. We're going to be looking out for this new <laughs> album coming out sooner rather than later. Yeah, Thank man. And, so and brother, brother, more, more of the people them know. So, I have about, me have about four albums out. Look, okay. I go check them out too. iTunes, it, Spotify. It. Mm -hmm. Um, I have one out called Good Profile. Mm -hmm. I have one out called Sweet Reggae. I have one out called The Next Chapter. I have one out called Chapter Three. I have an EP out called Reggae Lotion. Zin, just go check them out. Let's go check them out and. You must find something on the town to like. Because when the big time come, I already prepare myself for the big time. So when I got us, buy it, stream it, and make me feel good in myself. Deli you are, you oh. understand. And they need to check out your new song, Don't Be a Menace, Drum and Bass Remix, No Nasty Girl by Baby G. No, na no Nasty Girl produced by Baby Bang. I have to produce, may I have to left them to time. Time, so called friends were bad mind, left them to time. Time, they were some wicked mankind. No, for them, I said, them want you win, but them not genuine. No, for them, I said, that them are male, but them feminine. Try for this track, you find your courage when you're stepping in. But me admission, I pop me adrenaline. Remember, that's on the and that's on the um, blame love reading produced by DJ Smurf. And you can, you can check out my song called Shatter, produced by Sun Jack Fireway and Echo, Echo One Production. And the rhythm called Capture Land. And I will eat more of one. I will eat a thing of one. Baby Boom just put out a rhythm called Swing. What name? Swing, sweet nature. Swing, sweet nature. Mm -hmm. Zane, have a, have, a, have a tune for the rhythm there too. Check it out. Because you know, pure music production. Just check out Delira. So I will eat a thing of one. Nothing. Crazy. Nothing. Let, let me give you an intro, an outro, and get you out of here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Muscle, and this has been another Two Line Music Cuts Entertainment Report podcast, and we are out. Mud. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com. <laughs>